That's the first time I've seen another planet from space. It's beautiful. All right, woo, 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 how's it going, woo, hi everybody, how you doing, welcome on in, quite a show, I was just shoveling rice and beans down my throat, shoveling it in, I cooked it because I was like, I'm going to be hungry later and not have time to cook, just ugh, standing over the stove with a spoon, ugh. <clears throat> How's it going? Welcome on in. Uh, Linda K Talks, thanks for... Welcome to Wildo, I mean. Well, welcome to Wildo. Thanks for becoming a member. Um, uh, Jada Carter, traveling with twins. How's it going? Honey O. Charlie Riot, Sakura. Sabrina. What's going on? Sam Jan. No loafing. Ashley Nakamura, Purbug, Alaskan Sims, Kirsten Coat, Naomi, Love, Live Fantasy, Katie, Average Chick Fitness, Lioness Richie, great name, uh, Sarah C, Fion, H Tops, Hannah, oh my god, oh it's all flicking all around, Dimitri, Erica Erline. Hello, everyone. Dr. Wiley. What a. <laughs> we got Dr. Wiley chat. Diana. Congressional Wombat. The Jenny Jump. Mr. What's It To Ya. Larissa the Peach. Maggie K. <laughs> Becca Panini. Charmly Awkward. Hello, everyone. How are you doing today? What are you drinking? What are you drinking? Got Dr. Pepper strawberries and cream, not zero sugar, unfortunately. I also have a store brand cranberry lime seltzer from last night. And some water in a Starbucks cup. <laughs> Let's stir the pot, y'all. Hmm. Gonna be a doozy? It's gonna be, it's, there's a lot, there, we're gonna be here a while. I hope you don't have plans. This is my Woodstock. Oh, wow. Coffee, Pepsi Max, sweet tea. Very nice, very nice. It's gonna be wilder than this. Spay Rarity GoFundMe. So, I was not around for this time. Hi. I, I, t I tuned in just slightly after this. You have plans while I'm... All right, I'll try to wrap it up for you. Karina, welcome in. Hello, everybody. 
Lipton raspberry iced tea. Oh wow, very nice. Very, really like that strawberries and cream duck, but it's all right. Tastes tastes like the Dr Pepper and cream soda with some strawberry syrup. Sorry, Charlie Riot with 19 months. Appreciate it. Um, I'm pretty sure I don't have it set up to like pop up on the screen for like members and this and the super chat stuff like that. But I will obviously get to them. Uh, assuming I actually see them I should shouldn't be an issue uh, yeah huh. prescription strength white claws interesting you've prescribed them buckled in ready for this educational ride oh wow <clears throat> Mama Bami Salami how's it going so here's um here's what I got for us today okay I have this is this this is um this is the sequence as I know it, not very well. Um, as 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 I've been told, um, hey Chris Smith, how's it going? Rafe was talking shit to Eric. Okay. <laughs> Uh, about Amberlynn and uh, apparently Becky, but probably just Amberlynn. Uh, apparently. Okay. And Amberlynn found out and was pissed or whatever. What we're gonna watch today is a You Now live stream from Rafe on, I think that's July 6th, 2017. Okay. Talking shit about Amberlynn the entire time. Rude things. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> some very rude things, guys. Kind of funny. Um, I also have lined up a You Now from Amberlynn on the same day, July 6, 2017. Uh, defending herself and also just talking smack back at Rafe. Okay. Also have the You've Already Stirred the Pot video where <laughs> Amber Lynn and Becky sat down, made a YouTube video that I guess is now off their channel, off Amber Lynn's channel, uh, just like kind of just speaking to the public in a way and just talking mad smack again uh, about about Rafe, talk, talk, saying their house is disgusting and stuff, uh, stuff like that. I'm pretty sure that's the sequence of events. Okay. The, I mean, there's stuff, there's, uh, the, cause that's the public sequence of events. Cause like whatever was like shit talking, but leading up to that, it's hard to tell. There was something about, something about Hannah and Rafe being in possession of Amberlynn's cats and wanting to get them neutered or whatever. Uh, but, I think a lot of that's gonna get explained pretty quickly in here. Um, it's like potentially three hours of shit to watch. Just to be just to be upfront with you. I don't know if we're gonna get to be able to skip some sections or what. But we all we've all gathered here for this purpose, right? He's like, you're not just wandering in here like, oh, what's this now? You we you knew what this was, okay? Anyway, get, get your beverages. Get your beverages. There is a test at the end. Yeah, there's a quiz at the end. So pay attention. No, there's not. There's not a quiz. I was gonna leave it at that, but then I thought someone was gonna be really upset if there's not actually a quiz at the end. Uh, Grandpa's doing laundry. All right, there you go. <clears throat> this was a four. Can it's canceled. It's canceled. <laughs> it's canceled. The stream is canceled. God fucking damn. Hold on.
Okay, give me 60 seconds, all right? Hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on. Whew. I'm gonna get this in the right spot. I'm not gonna move it. Check, check. Okay. All right. Leave it at that. Excuse me. Okay. Shout out for uh, sh shout out to CXNT for uh, archiving most of this nonsense. Okay, where are we? Okay, ready? <sighs> Do oh my heart rate's up on the screen. Okay, <laughs> a little stressed out there. A little stressed out. <laughs> Trying to get that thing back on. Okay, whoo. So. Once again, to clarify, I know people are going to be coming and going this whole time. Starting with the Rafe You Now. Spilling the tea on Amberlynn, it says, okay? Literally never seen this? That's because it's, it's not very good content to watch. Let's see. Uh, why do you say her life revolves around food? Because that's all she would talk about. It's either Becky or food or YouTube. Great start. Great start. I don't know. We got captions for this? See, oh, bless, um, bless. Can I get your number? Um, we can talk on Snapchat. It's randomrafe1253. I don't just randomly hand out my phone number at least I really feel comfortable with somebody. So, okay. me. <laughs> that's just me. Oh, I'm a beautiful... You're a beautiful person, Rafe. Thank you. Um, I just try to be me... Must and if nice. I get drama in my life, I don't like it. I just don't. She's been like, preparing like for this day, people. I feel That's like. Fun. I like that. It's just... I don't know. <laughs> On the plus side, she got all she got all her haters over, over to you, and we liked you. <laughs> this is horrible, you guys. Uh, my, this, that's I, my I, favorite I never... arc of anything. Um... A bunch of haters of like a problematic <laughs> online figure, uh, all just swarming to someone who who is in that person's life who doesn't like them anymore, and just putting them up on a pedestal. <laughs> I've never meant for this to happen. <sighs> See, I'm reading reading comments and scrolling. How's your YouTube going? It's at a standstill at the moment because I don't have. Proper Crisp and crunchy, yeah. I have a camera, uh, but it's meh. It would be better if I had a viewfinder that could flip in reverse that I could see. Wait, wait, don't and, take the sake to some yeah, of it down a little bit. I'm waiting there. until I can get a better camera. Oh, and my job opportunity. Surprisingly uh, accurate captions. Jewelers, and they're still looking over my um, my application at Aspen Dental for um, lab tech. I'd be actually creating dentures. That to I like to sculpt. People and, swarmed you know. to uh, Becky after the breakup. Um, let me scroll. Did Amberlynn complain at Pride? Um. After after this after, after this uh, Amberlynn learned to, to to pay people off better. I, I complain think. at Pride. Um. She said she about passed out once. Um, no, we don't have pride? internet yet. No, we still don't have internet. I'm currently at Hannah's grandma's. And 
for everybody who thinks that I, I get paid by the government to take care of Hannah's mom, mm mm. Hannah's mom <laughs> takes more hey, hours in a, like two weeks than I've ever seen from anybody. She's a RN and head of the ER and the special care you unit know what? at the hospital I that could... she works at. So. That's that to the haters. Another shout out to CXNT uh, gave timestamps for like everything. Let's see. In I, this. I'm reading. I'm reading comments now. Let's see. So I may be able to actually flick around. See, that's cool. So we don't have to hear about her Evelyn job. Amber is losing weight, like she said. She does. I don't know. That's that's her. I, why? I, I still don't understand why she wore that sweater. It wasn't really a sweater, but it was it was a really thin like cardigan. Talking I still shit? don't understand why she wore it. I was in like a sheer top, like you guys wanted to know that. And okay, so Amberlyn went to Pride in a sweater and and overheated. I think is what they're getting at. Pants and sneakers, and I was burning up. My makeup melted off. It was pretty sad. <laughs> Oh, can someone tell me what's going on between Amber Lynn and Rafe? I'm confused. <laughs> Great question. I talked to Eric, which if you guys watch the videos. Okay, she is breaking the whole thing down now, apparently. I talked to Eric, which if you guys watch the videos, Amber Lynn was playing video games with him. And I was high. I was tripping pretty hard. And I... No kidding. I talked about her because I didn't feel like I knew her. Even though I had spent so much time with her, I didn't feel like I honestly Tripping knew pretty Amberlin, hard. the real Amberlynn. And that's what we were talking about. And he went and ran his mouth, and... I don't know. Way to it go, Eric. You had to run your mouth. <laughs> sad. Because now me and Becky and Hannah... Well, of course me and Hannah are fine, but Becky's not talking to us. I think I got a text from her. I got a text from her earlier today. Um, saying that we seriously we seriously need to talk, and she showed me a hat. But <laughs> showed a hat. I, I, she texted before tw- like before twelve o'clock, and she goes to work at three, and I didn't get a single text back from her, not a single one. So honestly, the ball's in her court. Ball's in her court. You said that you just you started off saying like all she ever talks about is food. Okay, I'm reading stuff now. What ball? Do, 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 do. Scrolly, 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 scrolly. Okay. Did she try coming on to you? Seemed like she tried to make Hannah jealous. No, she's just extra. I don't really think that she was trying to come on to me, and I definitely wasn't trying to come on to her. I'm just that kind of person. I grew up in a really seriously hippie family. Like, walking around in the nude in my family at my house wasn't a, like, Round upon. Whoop de do. It was just the normal. And, uh, which is kind of weird now that I think about it <laughs> growing up. But, um, <laughs> yeah. You I'm are just, right? I'm Hate a really sickles. open person. And if I'm comfortable with you, I'm, I'm going to, like, have my arm around you. I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to poke at you. I tend to have, like, a very physical friendship. Kind of demeanor and i don't really flirtatious like, demeanor said it's like you're flirting you're flirting and i'm like am i i didn't mean to <laughs> your number is this, 10 girls is this the kind of relationship they have seriously um i'm reading reading comments again. so what it was <laughs> do you get a little grabby with amber lynn what happened she needs a ride <laughs> ouch but um really true uh she wears them because she's self-conscious about her body. Yeah, she is. And she's told me that. She said that, oh, thank you for the likes, Laura. Yeah, Becky showed me a hat. She got a Steven Universe snapback. Becky really showed me a hat. Steven Universe. But nice. How much is she making on you now? Um, usually it ranged from like 30 bucks to, okay. I think one time was 100 Divulging uh, Amberlynn's finances. Okay. Okay. All right. I don't know. It gets Honestly. it gets messy in here, I guess. Um, Gabriella said, "Well, all I can say is Amberlynn lost a really good friend." Huh? I try to be a good friend. Must be nice. I, I want to be a good friend. I want to be the person that somebody can talk to. <laughs> the person that people feel comfortable talking really? to. Really, I like to be the worst friend. I don't know about you. I'm just interesting. Interesting perspective, Rafe. Oh, you like to be good friend? 
Let's see. Let me scroll and read stuff. Um, great, fr- great, great friend right here. Great friend. Oh, thank you for the likes, January. Great fucking friend. Um, I think you've got more, less, and like time. More, more likes and less time than her broadcasting for two hours, unless you were on. <laughs> Ouch. Let's see. Um, anybody that wants to be my friend, seriously, just talk to me on Snapchat. It's um, oh, random. That's right. opening you up to something three. wonderful. Wait. Very raw XD. I oh, yeah. Understood. Why do you have your picture is me and Hannah? <laughs> Who is this? <laughs> From the UK. Rafe experiencing her first online troll. Wow, we're witnessing this, witnessing, witnessing this live. Why is. What? Why do you have a Why? picture of me as your profile? Your, your picture, me and Hannah from Thanksgiving with her dad. Because because you you brought this on. You knew what you were getting when you decided to be messy online. I'm really confused. She's I'm like so I'm. Confused. She's like I'm being attacked. Why? Let's see. Unprovoked. Well, you like, so thank you, but it's still weird. Why do you have mine and Hannah's picture from Thanksgiving as your profile picture? Could you please change that if you don't mind? Um, let's see. Uh, Miss Holly <laughs> said, "Do you think that you two could rekindle your your friendship, or is it too far gone?" Hold on, let me scroll. <laughs> let me scroll. Is it too far gone at this point? I'm sorry to hear Becky is upset. They're all in their twenties at this point. Uh, yeah. I get it, but yeah, I tried to talk to Amberlynn. I tried to, you know, explain to her. That was just stuff that I was venting. I thought it was in confidence. And I don't know. <laughs> Way to go, Eric. Let's see. Um, <laughs> scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. You might get partnered since you're holding an audience race, then you'll get paid. That would be fun, but I don't know. I don't know how much mm. I could actually get on here. <laughs> Um, you made it big when people stood. New your job pick prospect it. unlocked. <laughs> oh my gosh! You made it. Um, you made it big when people steal your pick and make it. <laughs> True. Oh my gosh! No, no, I am no. Amberlynn is on her troll account. Let's see. Did Hannah ever get bothered or annoyed when Amber? No, Eric. Around? Eric made a money move here. Are you kidding me? This was this was a great play by Eric. No, I mean Hannah. Sometimes she said sometimes she felt like she was forgotten, but Hannah that's the way Hannah feels a lot because she Being she's on really Amberlynn's good side was an excellent move by Eric. Kinda stays to herself and Eric never dressed anything ever. Why would he? He was like fuck that, you guys you guys Hannah. deal with your shit. And she she worried that she was being forgotten. And this is Oh, he did come in on a video? Kind of Hannah's worst fear, more or less, is Becky forgetting us again. Oh, thank you for the applause. I'm I'm scrolling and reading. Let's see. Did Amber <laughs> yell at you? No, because I would have punched her. Oh! Um, you would have um, punched her for yelling at you? Sounds pretty violent, Rafe. How on you now you acknowledge us. <laughs> Why wouldn't I? You're talking. I mean, you guys are taking time out of your day to talk to me. You're gonna make so it physical. Why wouldn't I talk to you back? Let's see. I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. <laughs> Sorry. I'm reading. I'm reading. Number two fan currently is an awesome. Person. I don't know if I've ever seen Hannah. Uh, let's see. I think you and Hannah are awesome, and I'm glad that you're you're as real as you seemed. I'm. I try to be real, but seriously, I can talk some shit, and it's sad. <laughs> but. Clearly. That's my thing. But and I just kinda shrug and go on. Let's see. Um <laughs> No, Amber didn't Oh, thank you, Gator, for the likes. Amberlyn wants it to be about her give, give, give and nothing in return. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when we went to Pride, um, all she from our house all the way to Lexington and back. She only gave us like ten bucks for gas, and we bought her water and snacks and stuff and she was like, oh, it's 10 enough? And Hannah just looked at me, and I was like, yeah, that's fine. Say and no. the next time we stopped for gas, Becky filled up the tank. So just say If it's not enough, say, say no. Okay, let me, I'm more. reading. I'm reading. Hold on. 
<laughs> she can't be mad at Eric, and then she needs a place to move soon. Yeah, oh. exactly. And Eric doesn't want her, want Becky to move out because they're like attached to the hip with Becky, and they're trying to get in good with Amberlynn so that she'll come there, and Becky won't leave. Okay. See, I'm, I'm scrolling again. I'm trying to read. Uh, what do you mean Becky forgot about you guys? Becky... Um, why did she get mad at you if Eric didn't really know her either? She should be mad at him too. That's because Eric only told one side of the story, I'm guessing. That's just Eric. What do you mean he told one side of the salty, story? Salty, salty, salty. What do you mean? He said what you said to him. What's the other side? I might even what? just make a snap check to hang out with you virtually. <laughs> I, I, I'm on there daily. I tend to be after like 12. I really try to go on Snapchat and the internet and everything. Just J with the 33 gosh darn months. How about that? Hi everyone. TGIF. Thank guy. It's Fieri. Am I right? Uh, thanks so much. Appreciate you. Um, another note is maybe I, I wouldn't honestly would not be surprised if Amberlynn like didn't understand how much it costs to fill up a gas tank, which is silly, but she doesn't drive. How did Becky and Amberlynn really meet? Yeah, that's seriously everything that she's told you is really what happened. Becky watched like a video or two, saw all the hate and was like, damn, I really hope this girl doesn't. No matter how flat you make a pancake, there's still two sides, Dr. Phil. No matter how flat you make a pancake, there's still two sides. Best quote of Phil. Really, I like when he's like, you're ugly, I'm going to kill you, give me $200. Doesn't kill herself, send her a message, yada, 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 and it's pretty much from there. I'm chewing on my lip, I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay. What's your snap? Oh, it's random Rafe, R A N D O M R A F E 1253. Yay. I know. I keep seeing snap alerts that people are messaging me, and I will get to you guys as soon as I can, I promise. I'm sorry if I don't reply because sometimes I just feel awkward and just like, what do I say? <laughs> well, yeah, the. I'm sure I'm sure you get awkward situations when you just give out your Snapchat like that hey! and say you'll reply to people. I pulled up the chat somehow. What? No, 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 no. I don't want to end the broadcast. Dumb, dumb phone. Why you do this? Ha, there we go. Sorry. Thirteen minutes. Um. Let me scroll. Let me read, people. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, we got some good stuff Are here. you guys still friends? No, I don't really think that we are friends. I apologize. I told her why I said those things and what happened. And she just was really angry and pissy sounding over via text. And <laughs> sounding she just kept going text? over and over and over about it. And I said, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know, I can't take back the things that I said. But I wish I could. And now here you are talking and shit. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to play some music. Must be fucking nice. I'm currently obsessed with... Ah, hold on. Let me, let me get my music. Great. Going. Thanks, Rafe. With Melanie now Martinez. I can't, oh my god. Now I can't I have this Melanie up. So much. Great job. And I feel like soap is kind of the embodiment of whatever... Where it is so damn it. Aha, there it is. It's not that I didn't mean what I said, it's just that I wish I would have judged who was friends better. Oh, and thank you, um, Nad Nadia? Nadia. So you should have. Did she really walk along? You sh you're saying missed. you should have read Amberlynn better and known? Mostly sitting. She walked. We, I walked the most, I think, out of everybody because I just wanted to see everything. Oh! But Oh, good for you! I don't know. I didn't... We... Our groups ended up splitting up and um, kind of went our own ways. Went your own ways? It pride, I'm imagining. I'm seventh in girls? Holy shit. She's 
<laughs> Seventh um, highest did streamer Everyone tell you why she wouldn't get rarity fixed? No, she never said it. She just, I think she just said she forgot or that she, I don't know. Uh, I remember, I don't know if it was exactly with rarity. I feel like it might have been. Um, Amberlynn was saying for a while uh, when she got one of the cats that like uh, it, uh, the the vet wouldn't give her a date for getting the cat fixed uh, because like they were too young or something and she like ex- she like said she was waiting to hear from them or something like they said they would call her and then she just like left it at that like, just, like, maybe someday the vet's office will call me and let me know that I can get my cat fixed or something weird like that is the way she explained it. Little Linnet, thanks so much for the super chat there. Thoughts on YDHB coming out as conservative? <laughs> Who? What? What are we talking about here? Young dumb honey bun is who we're talking about. It took took me a second. Uh, I've never, I've actually never made any any kind of contact. I've never seen them. Never watched. If I recall, they're they just they just talk about like drama and 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 like reactions and stuff. I'm gonna I'm gonna. I'm gonna <laughs> Anyone heard of this? Anyone heard of this one? Uh, I think there's like a good like 30 second delay on here, unfortunately, because uh, this is the only way I could have uh, captions on for people for the live stream is by having it not be low latency. And I, for one, am devastated when a live stream doesn't have uh, live captions, even though they're never that good. So I thought I better leave it on. <laughs> Okay, hold on. <laughs> maybe that's why I never vibed with Young Dumb but maybe, maybe. <laughs> um, the way that you worded that is is, is very funny, though. I'm kind of inter- interested <laughs> to uh, hear more about that. Maybe maybe I'll take a peek on my own later. Uh, it sounds silly, especially the way you worded it. That you asked my opinion co- coming out as conservative is just a very silly thing to say. Uh, so, so I'm just very amused by that information. Wit Alley's with the the pair with a nice handing a nice beverage, handing over a nice Dr Pepper, strawberries and cream. Appreciate it. Thanks for the super sticker. Cheers. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Does she smell bad? No, Amberlynn actually honestly always smelled like perfume very strongly. wasn't bad. But, uh, but thank you, little Lynette, too. I like to use um, perfumes that I use are oil based. Sorry, I didn't have a better answer for you. Let's see, Zach. Because it seems pretty innocent. Okay, let me let me read. Let me read stuff. Hold on, you guys. May we know what was said. You have the right to look out for your friend that you love. Let's see. Okay, let me what see what else we got center. coming up down the uh, down the pipeline here. Oh, I'm here. reading. I'm reading. I'm sorry, you guys. Um, oh, hold on. Next up, Rafe wouldn't trust Amber to care for her animals. <laughs> Let's see. I trust Amber to take care of my animals. No. No, I wouldn't. I can't. I cannot wait till we get into like Amber and Becky's perspective on this when they start just talking shit about like just, how dirty their house is. Channel Rafe, I think you'd be good at it. Oh, well, thank you. Can I speak Arabic? No, but I really wish I could. I have some family that's from um, Pakistan. All right. Uh, what was said? Like what happened? Can you explain? Yeah, I can explain. Oh my god, the tea being spilled even here today. Uh, yikes. But, um, I said that I didn't know her. I said I didn't like her because I didn't feel like she was a real person. Like, I didn't actually get to talk you to her. You told the real Eric life. you don't like Amber Lynn? Why are you hanging out with her? Amber Lynn. I was talking to some sort of facade. 
And if anybody wonders why she I She does passionate. act different around her friends, as I as I talked about a little bit in my upload from today. Check it out. Back, it's because I'm leaning on a chair and all hunched up and hunched over. Um, but, Pakistan uh, is in an Arab country. I, I said that I didn't like her. She so was I- <laughs> She was like, "Yeah, I got family in Pakistan. I wish I could. I wish I could uh, speak Arabic." Or do you know this family, or are you just saying okay, she shit? had things that I didn't That's like about funny. her personality? And That's pretty funny. I may have said some names that I didn't. I didn't mean at the time. I was inebriated. I was high, and. You can't you can't blame things on that. I hope I hope that we're all very aware that you cannot. You can you cannot use like under the influence as an excuse for See, for things. Actually, I wish I wouldn't have talked. Doesn't like work that in I'm real high. life. What did I say? I let's see. Uh, I don't even really remember exactly what I said. Just the the basis. Yeah, it, it's really dumb. I wish she, she said wouldn't she have just ran like her. and told you know Amberlynn was like, oh my gosh, because. He said he didn't like her either. And. Go on. Go, go on. Amberlynn was like, oh my gosh. Because he said he didn't like her either. And I just. He was, I think he was purposely driving now away. Now we'll never know. But we'll never know the truth. Every day. I wish. Let's see. Okay, I'm reading. I'm reading stuff. Let's see. I have to go for a little bit, but I'll message you. Okay, bye, Kitty. Bye, Mermaid Kitty. Let's see. She's a shapeshifter. Yeah. Um, Rafe, this is amazing, and some of us have been waiting for this. The Amberlynn Reed exposed. <laughs> Girl, she won't even show her ankle. There's no way she's going to be exposed. <laughs> this is getting so messy! This is that was such an insanely good line too. Holy shit! That was a fucking roast of the century. Amberlynn exposed. How is she gonna be exposed? She can't even show her ankle. Jesus Christ! Let's see. I'm reading. I'm reading stuff. Let me let me scroll. Let me scroll. Let me scroll. Popcorn for everybody. Is this my face? Yes, this is my face. Um, you're the epitome of fantastic you now. Or you're act- you acknowledge everyone, and you're incredibly sweet and courteous. She's like, on top of that, she's well, prude. You. And thank you for saying that. <laughs> <laughs> that means a lot to me. I I really do try to go and like read everybody's messages and just talk to everyone. Oh wow, I'm. This? Holy hell. It must be nice. That's weird. Alright, let me scroll. She won't even show her dangling ankle. Yeah. I would walk, but I don't think Hannah would really be um, that open about it. Did she wear pants at your house? Yes. Yes, Amberlynn wore pants. The girl got freaked out if like her pant leg rolled up a little. Like she, She's so seriously like self-conscious about her legs. I uh-huh. don't that's not, yeah, that's not see, good. See, you guys seemed like you had so much fun. What changed your mind? <laughs> Why are you making fun of her for that? We did have a lot of fun. And I thought I had just, you know, it was like a week or two ago. And I thought I had, like, talked to Eric in confidence and just got things off of my chest that I felt like I was holding in because I didn't feel like I really knew Amberlynn. I felt like I was seeing all these different faces and really just wanted to know her. Is Rafe with Becky now? I haven't heard anything about, and, <laughs> anything about that. I think I, I may have called her Hamberlin once, and like she just has. That's a these, great like, idea. A, lesser known name. You should all follow Willow Davis Games. Playing little ticks like my other channel. Gum, constantly talking about food, and I, I don't know. Constantly talk about food. Um, let's see. Let me let me scroll, you guys. Um, would I date Hamberlin? No. No, I wouldn't. I would run far and fast. And in all honesty, that is exactly what I told Becky whenever I looked her up and looked at some of her stuff. And I was like, girl, run far, run fast. Get away from this. Oh, it's going to be bad. God. And I don't know. Hamberlin. Home LMAO Rafe called Al Hamberlin. I'm dying. 
Did she come up with that? I didn't say it to her face, but I did say it. Did she come up with that term? Another chick hitting me, God. I have fibromyalgia, and I've had this problem ever since I was young. I didn't get it diagnosed until recently because it was just, for me, it was just weird pains. Like, I would bump, like, my arms, or even if I wear my glasses too long, my ears hurt. And... I just finally went to the doctor and asked them about it. And it finally, after about six or seven months, came around to fibromyalgia. But... Okay, let me scroll. Let me scroll. Let me scroll. I don't know what that is, <laughs> by the way. Let me scroll. Hold on. <laughs> um, oh my god, the tea. So then Eric went and told Amber Lino about what I said. Yeah. He told everything about what I said, but nothing probably about what he said, because he said stuff just like it. Wow. And, and we'll never have the truth on that if 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 Eric concurred with the things that Rafe was saying. We'll never know, because he won the war. Let's see. Becky and Amberlynn really did meet like what they said. I'm, I'm not joking. I'm so dead. You're so insightful. Is Becky the type that likes to take care of people? Kind of. That's... Becky's the type Becky's likes to take care of people. Would you say, would you would you call her a, some a, a, like a caretaker of some life. kind? Is that what That's, is that what these people are leading into? It's always how things have went. It's always got put on her, and I feel like Becky sometimes doesn't know what to do if she's not in a relationship. And I definitely know that's what Amber does. Absolutely. Do I absolutely. like Amber? Yeah. Oh, I think I hear somebody coming upstairs. Do I like Amber? You just said no Hello? already. No. Hey, gorgeous. I'm on you now. Who's she flirting Why? with now? I'm on you now. Why? Just talking. Y'all fighting? Let's see. All right. Hold on. Let me scroll. Let me scroll and read, guys. All right. Let me scroll. Um, hey, Stony. Um... Is is Al right here right now? No, no. I'm. This is me and Hannah upstairs at her grandma's. Um, hi, Usman. Guessed me. I'll sing. <laughs> Let's see. Um, I know you looked uncomfortable when Amberlynn didn't say bye the last time you were on. You know, with her the day before Pride. Um, things are okay then. Hannah, I'm just gonna talk about it. I don't care. <sighs> well, I know you care, but I'm just. I'm done. You mean you're cashing in? Okay, so it seems like Hannah is saying, like, you shouldn't, you shouldn't talk about this stuff online. What are you doing? Rafe's like, fuck it. We're cashing Amber's in today. Amber's watching me where she's at. Mm, hi, girl. You watching? Nice. <laughs> Send Hannah my love. Oh, Zach, so Sophie messy. loves you. Love you. She says she <laughs> loves you, too. Do you like Amber Lynn's po poetry and writing? Um, how do you feel about Amber not acknowledging your pronouns? My pronouns are still she. I I honestly don't care what pronouns are used. She, he, they, them. As long as you don't call me an it, I'm fine. I mean, you could even say, hey, you with the hair on your head. And I'm, some people, I'm some people like, prefer it. What'd you say? Hello. <laughs> That's all right, too. What'd you okay, say? Okay, here we go. Hello. <laughs> Does Amber, okay, Chris, so you keep asking if Amberlynn collects money from the state. No, she doesn't. She, everything, every money. Okay, now I feel like if she actually did, then then Rafe would definitely say so here. Tongue tied. Every bit of money that she gets comes from YouTube and you know. Oh, let's see. Um, Hordak Heck Torkar said, Rafe, P.S., like the hair color change. Well, thank you. Um, it's six. She probably just woke up talking about how she had an ale. Six. <laughs> so. <clears throat> yeah, but yeah, um, she said that Destiny gave her a credit card as a Christmas gift, and it's in her name, in Destiny's name, so that she wouldn't have to pay it. Is she moving with Becky soon? I don't know. What? I don't she said that Destiny gave her a credit card as a Christmas gift, and it's in her name, in Destiny's name, so that she wouldn't have to pay it. Oh wow! Interest. That's interesting information. 
she moving in with Becky soon? I don't. I know, like they had like there's she had all this like bank account issues and stuff for a while after that relationship because she lost all of her identification at a Walmart one time. Oh, so I don't they had know. A whole issue they haven't with, talked like, to me. They haven't talked to me or Hannah in like stuff. a week. So, is she different offline? I think you're being quite nice, telling the truth. Yeah, she's she's really different offline. Believe it's, that. It's like camera face and Amberlynn. It's just, it's strange. Half axes gave me 50 likes. Thank you. Does she eat the amount she shows on camera? Yeah. Maybe I mean, be. I eat it too, so. Let's see, Amberlynn and them did her dirty, so who cares what she's on here saying? She's answering her questions. Hannah doesn't okay. want me to talk. Hannah's just like, you know, I don't want you to be on YouTube. I don't want you to be on you now. And Interesting that you're directly uh, going against the wishes of your partner, but just because of that's your vibe. Personal stuff, not personal, but um, personal security, I guess you could say. That's totally valid concerns coming from Hannah. To be um, honest with it's you, it's personal. I don't. I don't know. They were friends at one point. We were. We were friends. I really did want her to be a good friend. I considered her a friend. And then whenever Eric told her this stuff, I remember when Destiny and ALR waited did, four hours at Walmart because her bank declined her purchase. Oh yeah, I remember just that. Cut us off and was like, oh. whenever Eric told her this stuff, she just cut us off and was like why did you say this why did you say this hannah was talking to her and said but you still hey, said you're it in third I, place. I apologize oh god i'm third she this 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 train is is if hannah doesn't want really to running down the tracks off. now oh, wait oh, hold on hold on you guys full speed that must be nice hello Taking a call? I'm still on you now, just talking. 30. Okay, hold on. I can skip ahead okay, two minutes. Wait, what is <laughs> Um, have a um Jaylene Jack okay. No clue. Um Oh gosh, Stoney invited sixty five friends to the broadcast. Ah, thank you. Uh, do you really Here think Becky and Amber will be together forever? No. Oof. God, no. Um, Gabriella said, Hannah, tell us your thoughts. Well, Hannah has logged off of Facebook. She called me on Facebook. That's I don't have a phone. Oh, somebody said something about Amber having a phone. Two phones? Oh, God, I'm number three now. Um, Must be nice. My wife and I have the same name, Rose, so we can't make a... Yeah, you can. It's Rose Garden. It's Rose Garden. That should be it. That's adorable. Great fucking idea. Um, oh my gosh. People are inviting people. Ah! So it's Becky, Amberlynn, and Eric. Uh, I saw some really embarrassing pictures. Oh, yeah. I'm actually on Kiwi Farms more than I like to admit. Interesting. Uh, I saw some really embarrassing pictures of me, which has really actually motivated me to eat better, which is sad. <laughs> but... Um, so but, Rafe is just a fucking Kiwi Farms troll. Great. Um, Rafe, why does Amberlynn have two phones? She says one is for YouTube, like recording stuff, because it has a better camera quality, and the other one is just, you know, just for phone stuff. Makes sense to me enough. Okay. Oh, Rose Garden, I got chill. Oh. <laughs> Do you think Becky's really interested in Big Al? It it does not seem like she is at all. Becky's just. She's got an odd turn. I don't know. She's... <sighs> Becky's Becky. That's all I can say. I love Becky. Go I on. love Becky so much. Well, you're yeah, not really... Green girls. This is great, right? Making great moves to get her back into your life at that point. I've never had this high of a rating. Oh my god, you guys. But, um... It's I mean, Pokemon and Raiders. Hold on, you guys. <laughs> Spill on Kiwi Farms. Does Amber read Kiwi drop, Farms? Drop yeah, the she's raid video, Rafe. She's, from what she's told me, I mean, I've seen her go on there and talk about stuff. Right, let me scroll to the bottom. Let me scroll back to the bottom, you guys. Do, 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 do. Zach, do a stream after this to discuss. <laughs> oh my god, if you discuss about me, I'm, I'm <laughs> Zach, be... Zach going live after this to discuss the old after Lynn Reed show. So weirded out because I, I don't know. I don't know. 
people asking the comics. if Zach's going to go live. She says she doesn't look, Baha. Seen the co- yeah, she's... Mm. Does Amber post on the forums? Not that I know of. Does Amber Lillian... Is ALR in that secret group? I don't know. The more likes, the higher your rating. <laughs> um, get your money, girl. Get that gas money back. Get that gas money <laughs> back. <laughs> Guys... <laughs> Um, Rafe, babe, Raging Priest, there you are. Oh, we got thirty-three. Oh, we got. Oh my God, I can skip ahead a ton. Holy shit! Thank God. There we go. I know. I hate that because she completely cut off. You're an attendee of the After Lynn Reed Show, really? And that was years of communication. I know, I hate that, because she completely cut off communication with us whenever she moved in with Nina, and that was years ago. We, we didn't talk to her for, that was, they're like, still, talking about Becky, years. right? How, how Becky long? had an ex, Nina, right? Four years. You can, you can hear Hannah. Um, you watch this stream like <laughs> Amberlynn is going to come on and cry and cry and play the victim. Can't wait. seems like that. Can't wait for Amberlynn to come on here and cry and cry and play the victim. Becky's a pretty good victim blamer, too. I'm not going to lie. Oh, my God. (laughs) Hannah's telling me to shut up. Yeah, you're getting getting messy. Oh, people are becoming... Thank you for becoming a fan, Catherine. Let's see. She'll be on here later tonight, boohooing. People, please Can't record wait. it. Literally, she is on later that see, day. I want to see all the shit she says about what I've said. I'm sorry. I apologize to her. I honestly apologize. And you apologize to her. You spent this hour to talk shit about her. And for an hour, you're talking shit about she her. She wouldn't accept it. She just kept going back to stuff that I said to Eric, and I said, I'm sorry. I really am sorry from the bottom of my heart. I didn't want you to hear those things. I was just venting. And I don't know. Let's see. Are you blocked? Uh, nobody's blocked. I haven't blocked anybody. Oh. Oh. Um, oh. We're losing her. Does she ask Stay people with permission us. before filming them? No, she doesn't. She doesn't ask permission. Hannah never wanted to be in any of the videos. And there she is. Eric will no also kidding. get a share. Becky too. Yeah. Karma. Karma is a big bitch. Will the relationship go, sh- go down as quick as the Titanic? I think it actually took several hours for the Titanic to sink. I don't know. Um, Give me about five more minutes, Hannity. Five more minutes? I love you. Babe. Babe. Oh, I can skip ahead a bunch, I think. Oh, right here at the most replayed moment. Let's see what that's about. Anna, let her stay on. Um, Raging Priest said, I haven't, dear. I will message you. You better, and you better say who you are. Because I want to talk to you guys. Like, seriously, if you guys message me, tell me your username, and I will remember it. You might get partnered for real. That would be fun. I really like doing this. I don't know why. It's just fun for me. Who is Raging Priest? He is one of the people that is on here. He, We were talking about WoW at one point a long time ago. Nice. Like on um, one of Amber Lynn's things. Oh, in fact, I will add you right now. I just need to find your Snapchat. It's Random Rafe, R-A-N-D-O-M-R-A-F-E, one, two, five, three. Oh, Amanda Bearer said I downloaded you now just to watch you. Thank you. That actually really means a lot to me. Thank you. Oh, Mickey, you said you downloaded just to watch too. Uh, Amber Lynn is here. Am- Wait. You. That actually really means a lot to me. Thank you. How do they know if Amber Lynn is there? Oh, Mickey, you said you downloaded just to watch too. Oh, Amber Lynn is here. Ambie, How do they know? Amby, you want to talk? Well, I don't understand how she would know that. Seriously, if you want to talk, 
I don't care. I'm sorry about the stuff that I said. How would we know if Amberlynn showed like, up I in the chat? I wish you hadn't heard it from Eric. If you're actually honestly here. I wish I had you hadn't heard that from Eric. I was just running my mouth. And I was high. Maybe there's a way you can see who's viewing right now with it. I don't know. She wasn't there, I don't think. Oh, okay. So. I'm sorry. Keep I can only say I'm it. sorry so much without it losing its meaning. And oh, I feel like you wouldn't <sighs> accept it. I tried. I'm sorry. Let's see. I'm scrolling. I'm reading. Don't apologize for the truth. Victim win. Oh my gosh. Come out of the hiding, Amber. Don't be a little sheep in the corner. Let's see. Uh, oh my god. Does she have anything on you that would be embarrassing to have anyone here? No. Not really. No. Don't apologize to her if you were being honest. You do not want her as a friend. Who People does Becky then, live okay. with now? OMG, the T, guest Amberlynn, truth hurts, do not apologize. Yes, guest Amberlynn. <laughs> have have Amberlynn on as a guest, guest streamer. Well, she's also blocking all these people. Imagine they, they discuss this directly on a live I'm stream. That would be, that'd be wonderful. I've been thrown under the bus more than once. So, whatever. Honestly, I have been so many people's punching bag that it doesn't matter to oh, me Oh my god. Hold on, let me... Oh. She's gonna make another depression video now. Amberlynn is not her real name. Lynn is her middle name. Hold on, Hannah's play, calling again. Play a very tiny violin. Anna? I'm just always the punching oh, bag. Dropped. <laughs> it's like Christmas. I can see who's viewing you, I believe. Uh, <laughs> Ten bucks says she's fake crying. We knew it. Amber, Amber, Amber. It's your real name. Her middle name. She said her middle name's Lynn. That's what. No, we're uh, questioning the middle name now. Oh my god. She can block me all she wants. I have eighteen Gmail accounts to work with. <laughs> you uh, flexing she smoke? We smoked once or twice. She's never smoked. Um, cigarettes, but we've smoked weed together. Oh my god. Oh, thank you for the likes, Kaylee. Are you a cat person? I'm an animal person. I love animals of any sort. I love animals. Ah, I love a fellow bugs. vegan. Let's go. Um, <laughs> I have around 10 Gmail accounts. Put her I'll there. Put game on. You guys Put are her. horrible. You are outnumbered here, <laughs> and you can't block us. Uh, she can't be honest about anything. Somebody captured a moment. Hey, Rafe, have you ever been on Kiwi Farms? Yes, I have. And I was actually about to do that right now. Oh, you're I'm a sicko. I'm curious what people have put up. Oh, you're a sicko. Uh, she lost Destiny, Destiny Fam, Charlotte, Mary, Nina, Aunt Tammy, Hannah, Rafe. All, all, all in a, yeah, all in a year. <laughs> Please tell us about Amberlynn's troll account. I honestly don't know about any of her troll accounts besides what was the Damien, Damon White one? Damon White, know. classic. When did you dye your hair? It looks nice. I did this about a week ago I so I could have more job opportunities. 51. Oh, I think I really want to get out there. That's it. That's it for this one. I feel so... Hordak, heck. <laughs> yeah, Bye, guys. Yeah, she's, she's, she's closing up there. So that was the You Now from Rafe on July 6, 2017, apparently, saying that what had happened was she was talking shit about Amber Lynn to Eric in confidence. And Eric spilled the beans. He loves the beans. Um, he, 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 he spilled it to uh, Amber Lynn told Amberlynn that Rafe was talking mad shit, said she didn't even like Amberlynn, all that. Rafe claims that, that that Eric reciprocated and said, I don't like her either. We'll never know the truth there, because Eric won. The vi victory, the, the, the history, history is written by the victor, you know? Um, you, guys ever, you guys ever play uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2? 
Phoebe Bachelor, how's it going? Just subbed your channel. Can't believe you only just found your channel. I can't believe it either. How? What's, what's going on? Thanks so much. Um, yeah. So this was this was a live stream from Rafe explaining what happened according to her that she that she told Erica to like Amberlynn and Eric told Amberlynn that and all that. So later this day. Later this day, in 2017, in July, um, Amber Lynn went live on you now, okay, to explain her side of things. And let me pull that up on here also, so that I can get some of the timestamps uh, provided by CXNT here. Okay. And here we have Amberlynn, you now from the same day. You like the swag shirt? Thanks so much. Full on swag. I want you guys to just ask so I can get it all out in the open as well because I just think it's a bunch of crap. They all like Amber's money. See, that's why Eric made a money move. He was like, I'm siding with Amberlynn no matter what. You kidding me? Especially if she's going to pay three quarters of the rent. Let's fucking go. I don't know if that part's actually true or not. Just, I want you guys just what's been rumored. I want you guys to just ask so I can get it all out in the open as well because I just think it's a bunch of crap a little more that quiet. she's going to go on her you now and talk to my subscribers and make them believe something Your that's subscribers. True. That's not fair to me, not fair to Becky, not fair to Eric, not fair to Ricky, not fair to any of us. It's just not right. And after this, we're going to take a look at the upload on from Amberlynn's channel that's not up anymore apparently. Of her and Becky sitting there, kind of explaining the whole situation to the YouTube viewers. Um, so I do have a PO box. A uh, it's okay, probably so listed in the description. I feel like that's a very fair route to go. No, no so food or anti-vegan things. I started dating Becky, and I knew Becky had a lot of people in her life that she truly loved and cared about, and she wanted me to be a part of that because she wanted to get serious with me which totally is understandable um so the first people that i really met in official? her life were eric and ricky which oh, i only actually the met volume them just one went time, up excellent and then we didn't see each other for like weeks and weeks and then i ended up meeting her family and then i ended up meeting hannah and rafe and me and hannah and oh, me and so. rafe we all clicked still very sure so hold on fast which was really weird um it kind of felt like I've known them for a while, and I was able to be myself around them, open up around them, and I was like, "This is this is great." I find I find looking at the videos of Amberlynn hanging out with Hannah and Rafe that she seems very fake, personally. But these people have been in maybe Becky's that's life the real her. So um, after we met for the first time ever, like things were so well that they. Um, Hey, Jim. They messaged me and they were asking, you know, do you want to hang out? Blah, blah, blah. So we all decided we were going to go out for sushi. And I got to be honest, Amberlynn does spin a better yarn. She really tells it like a story. Very captivating to the audience. As the days went on, we on the edge of my more, seat. And then they started saying, you know, Amberlynn, why don't you come stay the night here? Like, there was proof, like, on you now, actually, the first time ever that I stayed the night at Rafe's house was because me and Rafe were just sitting on you now and she literally was like, hey, do you want to stay the night? And I'm like, really? Like, it was really random and I wasn't expecting it. So, um... Those flirtatious on, vibes again. On, we just became very close and, um... I thought we were becoming really good friends because that's what it felt like. I was able to tell her stuff and just be myself and, um... She, she, was, she makes... She, she, she paints a picture with her words to tell... to, to give you a scene... The, the vibes at the time, the feelings. This was great for Becky because Becky's really close to me. She's also really close to them. So, uh, fast forward to the now drama. Right or late, um, yeah. Oh, by the way, might I might I say, um, if when I, do I would declare. hang out with Hannah and Rafe, like, they would constantly say, oh my god, Amberlynn, I love you. Like, Amberlynn, you're the best. Amberlynn, let's always hang out, like this and that. Like Now, I, I'm, I'm tempted to believe that. 
I'm tempted to believe that they said shit like that to her. Oh my god, Amber, I love you so much. You're so much fun. I feel like they probably did. They probably fucking did, to be and honest with you. And I was giving that back to them. I was like, oh my god, I love you guys, too. Like, I remember it was so stupid. Like, literally, we were both, in the middle both of Both sides. Like, I don't know what I would do. Probably you fake as hell in this. Because I got to that point where I really thought we were all good friends. Turns out, it was fake as fuck. So, and I'm going to explain why. <laughs> um... Me, Hannah, and Rafe all decided to come over to Eric and Ricky's, and um, that was the second time I ever met Eric and Ricky, and I knew that Eric already was very weary of the people that Becky brought into his life, and I totally understand that. Like, I have trust issues as well, and I'm right there with him, and I completely get that. Okay. But, um... For some reason, Hannah was acting really weird towards... Not Hannah, sorry. Rafe was acting very weird towards me while we were hanging out with Eric and Ricky. I was kind of letting it slide. And then I started remembering some of the things that she... How she would act with just me. I felt like she was very snark and rude sometimes. And I just... I kind of just let it go in one ear and out the other. Because I didn't want to believe, like, that Rafe was a rude person. Because I really wanted me and her to be good friends. Interesting. um, benefit of the doubt. Yeah, we ended up all hanging out. And then I think it was like a week later. I don't really quite remember. Um, Hannah and Rafe ended up coming back over to Eric and Ricky's and they all hung out. And um, me and Becky were off doing our own thing. So, so Hannah, Rafe, Eric, and, and Ricky were hanging out. For a couple days, me and Becky ended up coming over to. Okay, if you guys are confused, Becky lives with Eric and Ricky. Um, right. So we ended up coming here. Great descriptiveness here. And we were all sitting down just, like, talking, and um, Eric brought up the point of, like, you know, Amberlynn, I am a little weary. I, I want to get to know you. You're a big question mark, you know, et cetera, et cetera, which is understandable. So he wanted me... Very bold of them to say such a thing. ...to stay here for a few days so he can get to know me more. So... Fair enough, if you're going to be living in the same fucking house. Um, as we are talking, he started mentioning to both Becky and I, like, you know, I understand y'all have been hanging out with Hannah and Rafe a while, which I want to say I did. I spent a lot of days with them and we became very close. And so Eric, which I am very grateful for, he was like, you know, I feel like we need to talk and clear the air and I need to tell you some things that they said about you guys, both me and Becky. And might I add, they have been, Hannah and Rafe have been Becky's best wow. friends this is so this is this is so well organized <laughs> the way she's explaining this for a very long time i'm talking like over like 10 years like it's been a very long time um Call me and a big Rafe was even talking mark. shit about becky and becky has never talked shit about them or at least never to me i've never heard her ever say anything bad about these girls okay. so um but it turns out that he, uh, Rafe was saying that she doesn't like me and that um, just all these really mean things about me that she doesn't know who I really am. And I sat there days with her telling her who I was and we got to know each other. It was just very easy with her, it felt like. And um, even God you guys man. seeing us on You Now together. You're you not like, following? Amberlynn's currently explaining... The events leading up to Eric telling Amberlynn that Rafe was talking shit about Amberlynn to Eric. That's what that's what we're up to here. She's just being very, very <laughs> descriptive with it. Like, oh my god, you guys have like a great connection. Like, that's how I felt. Like we were really good friends. And she completely was talking shit about me. And um, I know a lot of people are like, well, Eric was saying bad things. No, Eric told me to my face what he said. He said that, yeah, I'm a question mark. He's weary of me. He doesn't know if he likes me because he doesn't know me, which is completely true. Like, how do you know if you like someone if you don't even know them? I could, you know what? Give some, give, give some, if I was to uh, give Eric benefit of the doubt, you could say that maybe he was, Rafe was talking to him, be like, I fucking hate Amberlynn so much, I can't stand her. And he was probably like, 
yeah, okay, okay, oh yeah, oh yeah, you know, like, I don't want to fucking be involved in this, but, uh, I don't know, you don't, you don't have to give him benefit of the doubt, but I'm just saying, if you were to. Like, me and him never had a chance to get to know each other, but the fact that this fucking bitch Rafe, I'm sorry, I am so pissed, you guys, the fact that she, after spending so many days with me, and me doing so much for her, and I will get to that in a second, how much I've done for them. Oh, for her, that's funny, because she was just on earlier today saying that you wouldn't pay for gas, and they bought you a bunch of snacks. To talk shit about me, and then to sh- talk shit about Becky, that's fucking horrible, and that's wrong. I have done... I so- don't think she said anything bad about Becky. Th- Amberlin keeps trying to drive this point home that Rafe was talking shit about Becky. I don't think that actually happened at any much point. Much for them, like constantly. I have paid for gas constantly. I have given them money just to give them money because, might I say, neither of them have jobs. The only job that they have is taking care of Rafe or Hannah's grandma, and they get money from um, Hannah's mom. It's a very confusing. Damn, that's crazy, because she said that's absolutely not what's happening. So now who do we believe? Because Rafe was just on earlier today saying that she does not get paid. She's Rafe said clear as day she does not get paid by the government. To take care of um, Hannah's mom, was it? She said she does not get paid by the government to do it. Amber Lynn's saying that she gets paid... I, I guess takes or takes care of Hannah's... Who the fuck was it? A grandma or a mom? Whatever. Grandma? And they, that they have is taking care of Rafe or Hannah's grandma? Take care and of they Hannah's get money grandma. from... Um, Hannah's mom. It's Hannah's a very mom pays them to take care of the grandma, according to Amberlynn. And Rafe said so clearly she doesn't get paid by the government situation. to take care of uh, I'm sure they've grandma. described that a little bit. I don't really know. But I have literally done everything for them. Um, I have never treated them bad, not for a freaking second. I have always been there for them. I have paid for several meals, like... We hung out for almost like a week straight, and every single time we did anything, or every single time we ate anything, it was because of me. And it's just like little things that she would do, like I'm now very clear and like very like, okay, yeah, Rafe was fake as fuck. And it really pisses me off because I know Becky is really hurting because of this, because, I mean, they've been in each other's lives forever. And yeah, they're all just having a, having a, having an unemployed argument. For people to say, because people are going to like Eric's YouTube and saying shit that is not even real. Like none of this is Eric's fault. If anything, he's the best one in this situation because literally he was very honest. He was like, you know, an I need angel. to tell you what I said about you, but I also need you to know that the girl you've been opening up to and doing all this stuff for is talking mad shit about you, mm. and that shocked me because Rafe. A day prior is, oh my god, Amberlynn, I love you so much. Oh my god, I love you so much. And then a day afterwards, she's talking shit. I don't even like Amberlynn. And might I add, she legit made fun of my weight. Impression? Like she like was making fun of me. And that, I did see that. I did see that. I saw there was a good amount of that. Yeah. I'll show you. I can't really show you, but I'll tell you. Um. So I guess Eric and Ricky had like a bunch of pasta, and um, I was downstairs. Eric and Ricky made a bunch of pasta. A little chicken parmigini. Uh, I was sitting with Hannah, I think. And everyone was getting pasta. And um, Rafe came down with pasta for Hannah as well. And all four of them were going to start eating. And I, I was fine with that because, I, I don't know, I didn't really feel that hungry. I was just like, what? And then Eric comes down with pasta for me. And he was like, oh, I figured I'd get you some pasta since we're all eating. And I was just like, oh, thank you. And um, Rafe looks at me and goes, oh, I'm sorry, sweetheart. I totally forgot about you or I would have gotten you some. And at the time, I was like, oh, it's okay. Like, I love you, girl. Like, it's totally fine. Because at the time, I didn't know any of this. Turns out that when she was upstairs getting pasta, she looked at Eric and literally said, don't tell Amberlynn about this. She'll eat it all. Like, what kind of friend God talks damn. shit about you like that? That's not a friend. God that damn. Is, that's just fucked up and it's fake. 
And it's so messy. I, I couldn't even believe when I went on to her You Now Today and just the stuff that she was saying that is so not true. And she's literally saying some, like, personal information that there is just no... It's not right for her to yeah, be Yeah, yeah, I mean... Amberlin definitely should have known that, that like whatever the get the the ten dollars wouldn't cover the gas. I'm assuming it wouldn't have. Uh, but also they, I could totally imagine a scenario where they're like, "Oh, actually, it's gonna be a little bit more than that," and she'd be like, "Oh, okay, no problem. Here's more." Saying these things, and I mean, know. you guys can believe who you want. You guys can be Team Rafe all you want, but I'm just like done with completely. Um, and I think what makes me crazy is that Rafe was literally talking shit about me on her You Now and literally saying, yeah, I talk shit about Amberlynn. And then people in the comments are like, Amberlynn is such a bad friend. (laughs) What? You guys wouldn't even believe the shit I've done for her. I just, I don't understand. Like, I feel like this always happens to me. Like, and this is why it's so hard for me to get close to people and to open up to people because shit like this happens. So true. So true. Like, I literally, someone just said, I believe Rafe. You can believe all you want. And I think where I went like little nuts is, um, in her, you now, they were talking about pride and she said how she was buying me snacks and water for pride. Girl, that shit fucked me up. Like I hopped out of my seat, like a freaking bee bit my butt. Like, I'm not even kidding. I was literally like, what first of all we got water for free like water did not be money there god damn and the only time the only time i anything I, was a fucking icy which i bought every single person there a fucking icy and that was oh on me because god. i wanted to like why wouldn't i want to do that the, the, the stories are so different that like you can't even you can't even find a middle ground here like, they're just such completely different stories. And, um... Amberlynn's claiming she bought a bunch of shit for everyone at Pride, and that the water was free, and then Rafe saying that, that they bought that her snacks Rafe. and water. And Rafe was a little behind, so when she comes up and she saw all of us eating icy, she literally looked at me, y'all, because this bitch didn't even have a penny. She didn't even have a freaking penny. She looked at me, and she goes, what about me? Even Becky looked at me, and Becky was kind of like, that was weird. <laughs> and I was like, oh, you want one too? Sure. And so I ended up giving her a $10 bill and I said, okay, you can go get yourself one. The one that she got was the most expensive one, which was $5. So you expect to get the other $5 back, but instead she didn't give me the $5 back. She went and bought her wife a bracelet. So what are you guys doing? With what? This? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you guys, what do you guys think regarding the 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 money stuff with pride <laughs> i you believe rich broke as fuck okay uh i don't <laughs> i don't know the, the thing is if amberlyn's lying she's saying it with so much more detail and just has a complete like like rebuttal to all the shit that rafe said i mean she has the benefit of coming on after of course but like, she she says it, she says it's so matter of fact. All the the process of I gave she asked she said where's mine so I gave her money and she got one and then she took the change and she bought something else. You know it like it it, 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 it I I hate I hate to say it, that it makes sense something that Amber Lynn said but like God damn that sounds like it probably happened. Oh, oh. so I don't really know. Um, what did she say about Becky? She was just, like, saying lies about... Whoops. Um, Okay, as far as that you now, I don't think uh, Rafe really said anything much about Becky. Saying lies about how supposedly, like, Becky was going to move out of here and, like, we're trying to find a place together, which was not true at all. Um, So... You think the details make it it less believable? That's... Um, Yeah, maybe. Someone said Becky is in on this. No. Stop telling her that she has no money. You also don't have a job. Um, I get paid off of you now on youtube and i pay taxes just like everyone else so that does mean i have a job um okay fair someone enough. said now i don't know who to believe really like that shit fucks me up like you don't even know was that eric 
Oh, oh, Ricky has something to say. Quiet, quiet, everybody. Ricky has something to say. The only thing I'm going to say, and this is Ricky, the only thing I'm going to say, oh, I have oh. never, ever. I'll get, I'll get, I'll get, I'll get. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I'm just sitting there. Sorry, I'm sorry. I don't want to be on the camera. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, you guys, hold on a minute. The only thing I'm going to say, this is Ricky, this is Eric's husband. We never, ever start dropping. We have always been done dirty. It's just. I'm sick of people going off and running their mouth about us. I'm just tired of Sarah. What's the matter? Thank you, right. Lace Velvet. Who's Sarah? But, you know, it's just it's stupid because it's just you, we don't bother nobody. Mm -hmm. Okay. Eric started this this whole YouTube thing to help his anxiety. Mm -hmm. And just because Sarah wants to ride on other people's coattails, <laughs> hey, that's her prerogative. I can guarantee you that's not my husband's. My husband's the most genuine motherfucker you guys will ever fucking meet. So yep. hate on him if you're gonna hate on him, but Sarah, that shit, and that shit's not cool. You know Eric. You know Eric. No. Eric. You know how Eric is. Yeah. Basically, okay. how it came out and what happened was me and Hannah and Rafe were hanging. Or yeah, all four of us were hanging out. Uh, you and Becky were hanging out that weekend. They yeah. came over. Rafe. Um, we oh really? And then we started talking about you, and I and I admitted this to you. I said, uh, I was like, I don't like her. And then Rafe responds with, ooh, I know you didn't like her. I knew you didn't like her. I don't like her either. Uh -huh. And I said, well, let me correct myself. I'm not going to say I don't like her. I'm just going to say I don't know her. Mm -hmm. And that was my exact words, but I told you that. And yeah, I said that you to told you. me everything. I told you that. And I said that to you. I said what I told you. The, thing, the difference is that everybody's on here saying that I'm fake too and I tattled. No. How is that me being tattled and how is that me being fake? You spent a week with her, then she literally came the weekend right after you spent a week with her, came over and hung out with me and Ricky, and was literally talking shit about you. Yeah. How does that make How does that make me think though when she came over here and said you stayed with her and she didn't know nothing about you and was talking about you and calling you fat? I never. Wrap it up, boys. Wrap it up. They're done. They're cooked. They're cooked. That the searing, searing testimonial. From Ricky and Eric. Nails in the coffin. Nails in the... You're done. You're done, Rafe. Pack it up. Pack it off. Throw, <laughs> throw her in jail. Bada bing. Bada boom. It's it's done. I called you fat. No, I know. I may have said that I didn't like you and I didn't know you because of who you are, but that doesn't. I didn't talk shit. I didn't call you names. I didn't call you hamper limb like she did. I didn't make fun of your weight. I did not do none of that. So no. She did say Hamberlin many times. Right. And like, I'm glad this happened because a lot of people are saying he is splitting up friends, but it's like, would you want to be okay? Perfect example. Okay, say you're getting really close to somebody and you're telling them everything, you're spending money on them, you're investing your time in this person, you think they but like behind, you? you think they love you. Behind your your back, they're talking shit about you. Would you want... Ricky got a break people... from mowing the lawn. It must have been raining that day, yeah. Well, like, <laughs> would you want to know that is what I'm trying to say. Well, I mean, I want to know. I wouldn't want them to know. Exactly. Gold I just bars. want to come out here and clarify that, like, that's what happened. Her saying that I just came up to you guys to talk. Oh my God! Someone's dropping calling. big bucks. No, in I, I don't know what those yes, things are hey, worth, are but. Are moving out? Blah, 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 blah. I didn't even tell her where I heard it from. I just asked her with a hey, question. Edna. I said, "Hey, are you planning on doing this?" She said, "No." Mm -hmm. And I was like, "Okay, well, then why would your friends tell me that if it wasn't true?" And she's like, "What do you mean?" And I like, told her everything that they said, and I said, "Is this true?" They told me this, 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 and this. I just, I'm going, I'm going to the source. I went to Becky and I went to you. I went to the source and I asked both of you guys, did you guys say this about me and Ricky? Straight Are you to guys the planning point. on doing this? Right. And you guys said no. Because we're not. Straight to the and, point. Um, I just think, okay. For the people who believe Rafe or and are on wait, Rafe's side, I can't even well, talk Well, there's definitely about. no way Becky would ever talk shit about Eric and Ricky. There's no shot that would ever happen. She's far too loyal. Like, ugh. Uh, my question if, for if, if 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 Rafe apparently said that that Becky was talking shit about Eric and Ricky, there's no you shot. Guys is, if you were in her you now stream, if you watched it through and paid attention to what she was saying, she's constantly contradicting herself in the sense of like one minute she'll be like, "Oh yeah, I do like Amber," but then she sits there and calls me Hamberlin, which is 
you know, a Kiwi right. Farms, like, fat joke. Right. Or just, like, she'll answer things that are just very rude. Like, what are some of the rude things she said? Like, there's so many. It's, like, all, like, in my head. And I'm just, like, if you're someone's friend and you're trying to, like. I think in the live view, she said, like, she called you annoying. Yeah, she was saying how I'm annoying. And, like, some of the things that were funny about that, she's like, oh, well, I told Eric things in conflict. Some of the things that she was saying in the live view that she said about you. She didn't she, even say them to me, so I'm like, who did she say these to? Because she wasn't saying them to me. Okay. Who was who it was, was she? Me and Hannah. Who was she telling it to? I'm just saying, if she uh, she never told me, she thought you were annoying. She never called you Hamberlin to me, so she. If was anyone can spot someone me. contradicting yeah. themselves, true, true. I just don't understand like how everyone is like okay with Rafe literally talking shit about me, but then. Two minutes later, hey, Amberlynn, do you want to stay for another week and uh, pay for all my food and all my gas? Like, that doesn't even make fucking uh, sense. Gosh I haven't darn. Asked you for any money, so. No, you yeah, haven't. I haven't asked you for any money. They did. Whatever. I didn't ask you for any money. I make my own money. That, uh, I don't know. That's just dumb. She was on there lying about things. About we don't have to worry about her, her little money that she said about we took and everything. I can assure you. The thing was, is that all those things that I said about you, me not knowing you and not liking you, me saying that I don't know you is not me talking about you. Mm-hmm. Me saying that I don't know you is not me talking about you. Eric's, you. Eric's playing defense now. He's playing a little defense. Them sitting around making fun of your weight. I know. That's petty. Why? That's not a friend. That's some big bitches, though. They literally I'm, told they me are. not to give you food in my home and to sit down and eat in front of you I and know. not feed you. Okay. I know. Eric's, yeah. Eric's playing a strong defense here. It seems to be working. They told me to do. They said, do not feed her. She will eat all of your food. And wanted me to sit down and eat my dinner. Sealed front. tight. Sealed, tightly sealed defense here. He's winning Amber Lynn back. You and not have you eat whatsoever. Hey, cat. And, they were, and then I offered them food, and they were going to sit down and eat in front of you, too. Yep. That's, and that's when we were all really good. Really solid defense play here from Eric. Friends. Like, really good friends, like, don't do that to each other. Like, like I have never prior to this said anything bad about them ever so it's like but she's sitting there saying that she's apologized and she didn't mean everything that she said but then you have text messages on her phone she said she did mean them and the text messages she's saying she didn't yeah that's another thing like when i heard about all this like i texted her and i was just like i wanted to know the reasoning of why she would say those things about me and she Really, it's just like, oh, I didn't mean any of it. I just kept running my mouth and da-da-da. I'm really sorry. I really do love you. Da-da-da. You called her after the live view and sit there and asked her. You said, uh, she's like, you're not an awful person. You don't mean those things. And then at the end of it, when she hung up on you, she said, look in the mirror. You're an awful person. Yeah. You deserve all the hate that you get. But just a few seconds ago before that, she said, you're a good person. We love you. We never had any problems. Yep. But then in that same sentence, in that same fucking breath, she turned it around. You get what you fucking desire. True. She gets what she fucking deserves. But she's real all the time. If she's real. <laughs> For real. I know, I know, I know. Um, They're rude. They were sitting around and making fun of you. They're rude. I can't understand how come they would talk about you. I don't know. They're big themselves, but they're going to sit around and talk Okay, then there's a three way conversation going on. Talk about your weight. And then hey, Okay, hello, Todd. Like, no. No. You're good. It doesn't make cool. sense. Kettle, kettle, uh, and then like how go on saying that we're friends. We've never been friends with those girls ever, uh-huh. ever. Any oh, time damn. that we ever hung out with them, it was because we wanted to hang out with them. Okay. Oh damn. Yeah. All right, you guys. <laughs> fucking Ricky's like, I never liked them. I fucking never liked them, so it doesn't matter. Um. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. Let's see. Who was Rafe uh, getting high with? Uh. Uh. Um. Get at hot at the body shop, something unholy. No, uh, they don't love drama. I just think the, what Rafe has done is really fucked up. Like a lot of you are seeing someone that she's not, and I wish I could show you who she really is. Like she legit is so fake. I have never in my life so are met you, someone but... who can look you straight in the eye and be like, I love you, and then turn around, stab you in the fucking back with some knives, and tell other people, I actually don't well, like Well, if they're going to look you in the eye, how are they going to turn around and stab you in the back? Make that make sense, Amberlynn. 
They can't look you in the eye, then turn around and stab you in the back. That's... Like her. That to me is you. They up. they turn you and around. You, guys, you, t- you turn around. Think I'm a bad friend. I don't know how, <laughs> but you guys can think it all I you took want. I said geometry. Guys, whatever. So, um, is Becky still going to be friends with Rafe and Hannah? No, because Rafe literally talks shit about Becky too. Um, I wish I could be friends with you. I don't. I, I don't think she. I don't think Rafe really did talk any shit about Becky. By uh, your love by the people who support you. Thank you so much. She keeps um, saying that, but I didn't what did Rafe anything. say? Literally, she was just saying how um, I'm annoying and she doesn't know me, even though we just spent hella days together. Like I literally slept at her house and opened up to her, cried in front of her. Like I just, I just don't understand it. And she made this fun all of could me have been avoided if you guys just Eric, made enough um, pasta. Okay not to give me pasta because I'm gonna like eat it all or whatever like she's just guys really just, just make more fucking pasta it's like 80 fucking cents a fucking box um crisis and again, averted Amber is pulling her right. girlfriends away wait away from people they've known for years this is all on Rave. Like, if Becky wants to be Rave's friend, that's on her. Like, I'm not a controlling person. Quick recap in case you're just tuning in. We already watched the Rafe You Now video from July 6th, 2017, where she explains that she had talked to Eric about how she how she doesn't like Amberlynn, and then Eric went and told Amberlynn all that stuff. Uh... And now we're watching Amberlynn's live stream on you now from the same day as that, July 6, 2017, where she's kind of a rebuttal, kind of kind of uh, speaking her side of the story there. And then after this, we're going to check out the video that was uploaded on Amberlynn's channel after, the, I'm pretty sure it was after this, unless my th- things are all wrong. Where Becky and Amberlynn sit down and explain the whole thing to the YouTube audience. Not a controlling girlfriend. That is all on her. I, I wouldn't understand why, but that is up to her. Um, my question is, why would Becky want to be friends with someone who literally talks shit about her? So, mm. um, oh shit, I just really don't understand. <sighs> How do you feel about Becky shaming a former ex? You don't think she will do it to you. You don't know anything about the ex, um, and I don't want to get into details, but she did some really bad things to Becky. So Okay. So why did you forgive Dana, Destiny, thing? Nina? They also did you wrong. Um, this is a little different. Rafe is literally... Okay. When was this? I don't know. Like a week ago maybe like when i found all this out and then like i sent her a text and like Nightmare she's sitting there rotation. telling me like oh amberlyn i love you i didn't mean any of it i was just running my mouth i'm sorry and i literally told her in text i was like just give me some time i need to really think about this think this over i need to see how i'm feeling did you know amber had a history of starting crap between her girlfriends and their friends casey said this happened in arizona amber causes drama destiny said that too i believe that i definitely believe that. and she's like well you're a really good person and you're a really good friend and i really want to be your friend and, da, da, da. and right i think like, a more reasonable reasonable person probably would have read hannah and rafe a little bit better and been like i don't know if i want to get involved with these people so so head on you know and then just avoided drama that way. But Amberlynn is just like diving right in on it, you know? Like, just give me some time. I will get back to you. And then all of a sudden today, after I'm trying to just take some time to myself and reevaluate everything, do I really want this person in my life? I go on you now, and there she is talking mad shit about me. That's not a friend. That is not someone... I want in my life like I have spent way too much time in my life being around not a pasta fan people. Julie Snyder and I mean me and Rafe were really good friends I will admit that or at least I thought so on my end um I always got along with her and we just had good time together but 
there was always something in my gut that I wasn't very sure about, and um, a lot of people were telling me not to trust Eric. Um, you guys don't really know him. I am just very grateful that he told Sounds me the like truth about everything. I feel shit. like that's very... W- w- I wish any friend would do that, because it's not right that someone is talking mad shit and then like him not saying anything about it, knowing that I do all this stuff for Hannah and Rafe and I'm always with them. And mermaid kitty said, you're believing what Eric said though. If Rafe would have come, I, to- I, if, if destiny started coming out and, and, and spilling tea now, that, now that they've kind of cut ties. I, I, I have to imagine like Amberlynn would just like have to like retire or just like turn turn off all comments or something because I feel like the shit Destiny would have to say would just be so fucking crazy. First, would you have believed her instead? Yes, of course I would have believed her. Not that her, Destiny's but, um, innocent by any means. Rafe has admitted, she literally admitted to me that she did say these things. It's not something that's just like... Eric saying she said these things and Rafe saying she didn't. No, Rafe is like literally saying, yes, I did say these things. Um, and it's just crazy. Um, does she really ask you for money or to pay for stuff? Oh, oh yes. Um, quite a bit actually. Um, there were times where they invited me to go do something and here we go. Honestly, I thought them inviting me means they had money, but it turns out they like really never had money. And the only time Hi, they did have dog. money is when they would ask Hannah's mom for money. Um, that Come is on. the only time ever. And it just sucks so bad because I, I like having good friends. I like having people in my life that I can have Loyal. fun with you and like talk loyalty. to or that I can just sit down with and like it'll be silent and it's like perfect silence like those are like you the like perfect, perfect friends for me. silence with it's like friends no awkward silences. what's what's just, a little perfect silence among friends you know fun friends and that's what i thought i was gonna get with them and they completely backstabbed me and i'm getting to blame for this and i don't know why i didn't do anything i'm mainly coming on here right now because her you now fucked me up so much that i needed to come on here and be like so true Hold the phone. None of that is true. Um, <laughs> yeah, ah, oh, damn. Well, we'll go do something. We don't have any money. Let's see if Amber Lynn's around. Because some of y'all were really eating that up. <laughs> so. Um. Did Rafe ever make a move on you? She has wanted to make out with me more times than I can probably count. And there were even times in front of Becky that she said that. So. Um, I believe it. I believe it. I believe it. I'm sorry. I just believe it. I'm sold. <laughs> Say no more. You got... I, 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 I believe you. But I would never do that to Becky, obviously. And... <sighs> sorry. I got no... There's no evidence to back any of this up, but I believe it. Um, I feel it in my bones. Check, check if she had diabetes. Blame it on being high. <laughs> she was extremely affectionate with you. I know, but supposedly Ooh. she didn't like me and this whole situation. So that's good, that's I don't good. really know what else to say about it. Um, why'd you for wait? Why'd you forgive Dana for doing the same thing, talking behind your back? Um, because. Oh, I recall. I that. already knew that Dana. I mean, I was definitely shocked about it. <laughs> My God, I didn't think we'd be hearing about fucking Dana drama in this. But I wasn't close with Dana. I've never been close with Dana. Um, I'm literally Dana's girlfriend's ex girlfriend. Like, there's gonna be a little bit of weird vibes there. You need your but face with Rafe, like up. I literally, we go. were really good friends and good. she'd constantly look at me and be like, oh my god, Amberlynn, I love little you. face like, fluff. Tell me anything. Oh, you're like my best little friend. One of my best smush. friends. Oh my god. Da, da. It's all go. fucking fake. It was all fake. That's what gets me the most Ugh. triggered. I'm just like, oh my how God, can very someone nice be and fluffy. so fake? Very I nice. don't understand it. And I'm, very I just good don't fluff. understand it. Good fluff right here. Like, I'm still in shock right now about the whole thing. <sighs> someone said this is so confusing. I'm sorry you're confused. I'm pretty confused, too. So, 
I just, I don't understand it, you guys. And I gave her the, this platform. I did that, and I'm not trying to be cocky and annoying about it. But it's like I gave part, her this platform. Brutal. Part of me is like... Oh, Sakura loves you, Holly. Was she using me because she likes the attention? Every time we... Oh, my God, you guys. When we were at Pride, I can't even tell you how many times Pride? she'd be like, you want to go on you now? Do you want to go on you now? At Pride. Wow. I'm like, no, I don't. Like, What's I'm trying to literally hang out with my friends and my girlfriend at my first Pride experience. I really don't want to go on you now right now. Like, even Becky, like, at one point was like, Rafe, she doesn't want to go on you now. Like, stop. <laughs> and I don't know. And I know a lot of you notice, like, even when um, me and Rafe would be on here, like, sometimes she would seem a little like, why are you reading Amber Lynn's, like, hate comments or whatever. Like, she would constantly do that. And I believe it. I believe I it. Know, I'm just Holly. Is the reason why you're smacking cardboard boxes around? Come here. What's the matter? Do you need something from me? We're deep into the Amber Lynn show. The the pre Lynn show. Why are you smacking boxes? What's the matter? Why are you looking at me like that? Do you need something? Are you all right? Little Timmy fell in a well. It's like, I don't understand. I don't understand why she did this. I don't understand. I don't understand. I just feel like when you have issues with someone, you need to talk to the person. She should have just talked to me. Like, if she didn't True. like me, stop telling me you love me. True. If she didn't like being near me, she shouldn't have invited me to stay the night five hey, million times. I just don't understand. Um... Did Hannah not get jealous of you? I really don't think she did. <laughs> That'd be you, funny. Inter- you introduced her to an attention pool, and now she's high on it. Definitely. And I think <laughs> what makes it even- Oh, she was high on attention. Oh. Even, like, the saddest to watch. Her whole last you now. 98% of her you now. Oh, my God, you... Was people asking now? questions? You wanted about to come me. up here. People Why wanting to talk off? about. Okay, me. okay, sorry. And does she not notice that most of these people are just watching her f- because they want to know things about me? Like that's a little weird, but that's the reality of it. Once me and Rafe are like completely picking, done with her, done with each other, you. like there's no more tea to spill or anything. A lot of you aren't going to stick around and watch her because. What is she, what is she gonna give you guys? God damn! Like I, I just I don't know. Emerlyn's <laughs> um, like if she doesn't have fucking me to talk about, her channel's done for. I'm just gonna read some of these. What's the matter, Holly? What are you looking for? You could tell she wants fame. She's a moocher. Rafe seems very attention seeking. Yeah. <sighs> Why can't you keep friends? Uh, every situation is a different situation, clearly. Um, with Rafe, completely fake. And I could easily call Rafe right now and be like, you know what, girl? It's okay. Like, it's totally fine. You know, Amberlynn, I'm not one to victim blame, but a certain amount of times in a row, you have to you have to start wondering, what do you do to trigger these events? Like, we'll just forget all of this happened, and we'll just go back to normal. And she'd be on that, like so fast you don't even know but no i'm standing my ground and i'm like i'm done having people walk all over me and treat me like freaking shit like i'm so done with it it's not right it's not okay and i just hope this this bad vibe of like friendships seriously stop because i am like with charla i opened up to her and with mary and i just don't understand like people were on, apart dog? but it's like why does this She's always doing have to happen? Dance, like she can smell I some really food. don't. Know. And for a hot minute there, I always thought everything was my fault. But then I really looked back at this whole rave situation, and I was like, no. For once, this is definitely not my fault. Like, I don't know. It's too much of a mess, and I hate it. <laughs> um. Best thing you can do is move on. Some people just suck. Don't let this get you down. I know. Amber 
Caitlyn, <laughs> stop talking about it then. Dragging her won't help anything. Mermaid Kitty, I know you became, like, friends with Rafe, but it's fake. It's all bad news. Damn. And I don't mean to be rude to you because I know me and you are friends as well. But um, I'm not dragging her. I just need everyone like it's like so many times drama happens with me on youtube it just happens it follows me i don't understand it usually i ignore it completely ignore it but this is that one time where i was like honey no because i I I am hurt i am mad i'm sad no i am shocked and oh everyone's saying rafe is live i think i'm gonna go watch that or like guess with her and tell her how it really goes because i am seriously just so just over the whole thing and like I'm over her friendship is what I'm trying to say. Okay. Like I'm so pissed off though, as you can tell. Fair enough. Fair um, enough. Whatever events led up to this, I think like, it's safe I feel to really say bad. You, you guys should probably be done, but they're not. They're friends after this somehow. Isn't that the funniest part about this whole thing that they literally are friends again after this? How I can't imagine. I can't imagine ever ever letting that slide but this is before where we are in the timeline in the recent reactions i've been doing all in a row today was the eighth day get caught up they're friends again they've been friends for a good couple of months again i think i'll see in the side of me but i am just so tired of people doing this shit to me like i'm so tired <laughs> I feel like people fucking use me and abuse me. Like, that is literally how I feel. Like, this has happened so many times in the past, and everyone thinks I'm the person who takes, 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 and mooches and mooches. What am I taking, and what the fuck am I mooching? I'm giving everything. Like, I'm giving my heart. I'm giving everything that I am as a person. I'm giving everything in friendships. That's what I try to do, and it's like... mm. Um... Wait, she ended it and she's on here watching you. Is she watching me? If she's watching me, she should say something because I don't know if she is or not. Um, let's see. I don't think she's gonna be. Let me see where we are in the uh, in the time stamps here. Ah, okay. Okay. Amberland doesn't owe Wraith anything. They were friends. You don't owe your friends food for sleeping, for sure. Yeah. You have to step back and reflect on things, not hating whatsoever. You just need to reflect on things. That's what I was trying to do. Like, I was trying to spend time to reflect because Becky, she thinks like a grown-up. Honestly, she does. She was like, I want... Becky thinks like a grown-up? Yeah, you know what? I'd fucking hope so. What? I want all of us to sit down and talk about this. And that's literally... You're telling me Becky's capable of thought, Amberlynn? What I wanted, too. But then this fucking girl is on her you it's now... human being? ...calling me Hamberlin and, like, lying about things. How are you going to still be friends with her after all this when she said fucking Hamberlin a million times? And, like, contradicting herself left and right about the whole situation... I just, I was like, Mm-mm, I can't do this anymore. I literally can't. Um, she even said you smell good. Well, I do smell good. And still, that doesn't make everything else she said, um, <laughs> like, totally fine. Like, she talked mad shit about me. Well, we're supposed to that hat. I hope there's a skull yeah. too. To be honest with you, it makes me so happy that you're standing up for yourself. I love you, Amberlynn. Thank you. I love you too. Part of you, Amberlynn. Thank you. Must be nice. Um, Thirty-seven. Rafe will be nothing after this dies down. Yeah, I really feel like she was using me for sure, and it just—it really sucks that this had to happen because I'm losing friends. Why are you and so it's just upset, like shady. Holly? Okay, these are some examples of like when I was hanging out with them, and I started noticing a few little shady things. The first one was when we were all hanging out with Eric and Ricky. We were downstairs just hanging out, and Rafe got out this little fucking notebook and started writing on it and like passing notes with Eric. And I'm just like, this is awkward. And it turns out Rafe was like talking shit about me in the notebook. 
And then, Wait, um, what? what was some other stuff? Eric. And I'm just like, this is a notebook and started writing on it and like passing notes with Eric. And I'm just like, this is awkward. And it turns out Rafe was like talking shit about me in the notebook. And when then you drop your um, next single, no plans currently other stuff. I'm like drawing a blank. Oh yeah. Um, me after I guess after Rafe talked mad shit about me, I didn't know at the time that she talked mad shit about me. But it was the day after she talked mad shit about me. She and Hannah was like, "Hey, Berlin, do you want to hang out? Do you want to stay the night?" And I'm like, "Oh, what do you need? What's the matter? Do you need a little treat? Is that what you're looking for? Like you just like it's just like oh, it's time. Like they just spawn." One sec, one sec. did that fall? When did that fall? They can't see you. Okay, there you go. Come here. Over here. Come here. Sit. Sit. Give me paw. Sit. Sit. Yeah, I know you're excited. Give me paw. No, no, no. Sit, sit, sit. Give me paw. Good girl. Good girl. There you go. Okay. Sit. Sit. Up. Good girl. Good girl. Okay. There you go. We're also we're we're square now. We're square. All right. <sighs> Swag monitor. No, it's full. It's it's on. It's on. It's full. <sighs> oh sure. So they were in my town. Where that's it. Coming to pick me up so we can go hang out. And Eric ended up texting Rafe and was like, you know, what are you guys doing? Da, 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 da. And Rafe was literally going to lie to Eric and say that she was in a completely different town because she didn't want Eric to know um, where she was because she just got done talking mad shit about me the night before. Like, that's what? how fake she was. Like, to my face, Doesn't she's like, everyone, I love you. But then over in text message, she's like, oh, fuck, I need to lie. I don't want anyone to know I'm with um, Amberland. Like, that's... Got it. Forgot to change the screen. Thank you. Thank you. It's going to take a second. It's going to take a second. What, what do you guys have to look at anyway? What do you guys what do you what do you guys need to look at so bad? All right? Thanks. Yeah, I can't see the screen. Yep. In my defense, at the first message that mentioned it, I switched it over. There's and there's like a thirty second thing of <laughs> of uh, of it catching up. <laughs> All right. That's bullshit. Like that's not right. Um, Holly, what is going on? You spilling tea is fake too. No, this is just me defending my name because defending my I name. never do that. Like I what is rarely this, fucking seventeen hundreds ever defend my name like this hardcore. Usually I'll just let shit like this slip and slide. Thanks like, for the care. super but chat with Allie's door. What Rafe did really fucked Why are you me. talking about yourself like that? Oh Got him. Um, someone said she's not spilling tea, she's spilling facts. I am spilling yes. facts. I don't know if you have to um, spill facts. Eric is not friends with Rafe at all. Um, Eric is very hurt as well and very pissed off about the whole thing. They could have just made um, enough we pasta. We all know that yeah. Rafe is fucking fake. And it just proves it through and through. A few days ago, her texting me, telling me Amberlynn 
you're a good person. I want to be friends with you. And then she goes on you now and talks shit about me. Her whole you now is about me. All right. I think, I think we're starting to repeat a little bit now. 41... Ooh, it's about to get interesting, nope. I think. Nope, nope, nope. Um, did you confront her? I did. I ended up actually calling her before I came on here because I wanted to talk to her and be like, why the heck were you dragging me and your you now? And she started saying, oh, you're a good person. You're this and that. And then towards the end, she goes, you're a horrible person. You need to look in the mirror. Like, she, Amberlynn claims to have called Rafe right before this live stream. Like, she's, literally, that was all in, like, a four-minute span. And I'm just like, what? <laughs> so. Um. Yeah, Eric didn't know me. Like, when... Rafe and Eric were talking about me. Me and Eric did not really know each other. But me and Rafe had just got done spending days upon days with each other. That's fucked up. <laughs> this was Amberlynn's only win in court. <laughs> Someone told Gabriella to shut up. <laughs> I agree. Um, why did you lie about reading Kiwi Farms? Um, I never lied about that. Um, what? What? Julie Snyder, thanks so much for the super chat. Word to the wise, make more pasta. Always. I always do full box. Full box. If, it's like, if I'm making dinner for me and Jamie, box of pasta, jar of sauce. Anything left over, great, you know? Jamie can pack it for lunch tomorrow. I'll wake up at 2 a.m. and eat the rest of it in a, in a bin. Just be careful who you become friends <laughs> thanks with. Thanks so much, Julie I Snyder. I appreciate and it. And I just feel like somehow... I always get the shit to happen. Like, I don't understand. Um, thank you, love. Wait, what did that say? Ah! Thank you, love. We can hear you shipping in the background. Holly. All right. Yeah. What do we do now? Are you wondering where your mama is? She's working late. I mean, Chunky, I appreciate that. Um. So Rafe has no money and used yours. Exactly. Um, the only money that they would get is from Hannah's mom. And because they don't have money, like they don't have any income whatsoever. They have zero dollars. And um, don't hit the camera. So you, don't me know. you cannot hit the, the person tripod. that I am. I felt bad and I would give them money and I would. Oh, my Please God. There was this Holly. one time I literally gave them $40 to go get Becky. Like that. What? I'm going to need some explanation of that. Gans with the super chat. Thanks so much. Loving the Retro React series. Keep it up. Thank I I'll, I'll I'll as long as you keep watching. I guess I'll try to keep making, them, you know. <laughs> Thanks so much for super chat, Gans. Appreciate it. Holly, you you're hitting the camera. Thankfully, it has a very nice kind of like steady mode, Holly. A little anti-shake. But you can't wobble the tripod like that. Did you do this? Was this you? That knocked over the microphone? The other microphone? What's the matter? What's going on with that? That's ridiculous. And the drive was probably, I don't know, like 40 minutes or something. They crashed. Um, like... <sighs> Pick up Becky, a 40-minute drive. You gave him 40 bucks? I can't even tell you the things I did for them. Okay. And um, it's just the part about the pride in her buying me snacks, that shit fucking made me go crazy. And I was like, that never happened. They don't have money. The only money they would have is if I gave them money or if Hannah's mom did, and that was not that often. So... You shouldn't have to buy friends. I know, but shouldn't have I to buy friends. feel bad. I, that's just how I am. Amberlynn is uh, 
known to buy friendships, unfortunately, whether it's just her trying to be a good person or what. She she gives a lot. She gives a lot of money to her friends one way or another, as, as history has proven, once she started making money anyway. Wit Alley's with the very nice super chat. Very, very nice. Figure out how to make the money more and ha- have, an aw- have an awesome weekend. Thanks so much. Yeah. But nice to you. Thanks for making the money more. Appreciate it. Now your little things at the top there. Play Freebird. Um, I could play it on. I, I played it this morning on a on on a Guitar Hero on I'm here. Let her try to defend herself. I don't even know where. Uh, it was all right. Not so. bad. I think it was a new high score. Thank you. Tabitha. I'm hitting like eighty percent on uh through the fire and flames. You Still so three sweet stars. You were so to give her jewelry. Oh my gosh, girl. Yes, and that actually you reminds me of jewelry. a whole situation. Oh my god. Do you guys remember? Okay. <laughs> Amberlyn is living for this conversation right now, it would seem. I gave She's Rafe probably like eighty percent of my uh necklaces. She probably I gave her easily over two hundred necklaces for free. For fucking free, you guys. These are necklaces that I have why? been gathering and oh my god, I just I don't know why I did that. And the funny fucking part is um when I was giving them for her giving them to her she started just picking out the ones that she wanted and then i was like oh wait a minute um there's some that hey, i still April. want um so let me just take out the ones that i want for sure and then i'll let you pick out through the rest and what? she like got upset about that amberlyn currently like, claiming i mean okay currently claiming to have given rafe over 200 necklaces in like the week that they hung out hey it's just there's so many and I was like, oh, my God, I feel so bad. Like, I started being like, oh, my God, I feel bad, even though it's my jewelry. And she was just like, oh, don't worry about it. Just pick the ones you want. And I'm just like, okay, girl. But, yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> Traveling with twins with a nice super chat. Appreciate it. Thank you for the nostalgia. Thank you. Thank you for making it happen. Appreciate it. I don't it. even know. Um, she bought you snack with what? Monopoly money? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? <sighs> Whoops. Crap. I think I just blocked someone. I didn't mean to. Sorry. Are you going to take the jewelry back? No, because I don't plan on ever seeing Yeah, her, please so. don't take the jewelry back. <laughs> just let it be gone. Um, If you won't guess your good will. what's there to be fearful of? I'm definitely not fearful of her. <laughs> um, It's okay, Sam, baby. It's okay. see where we're at here 47 minutes what about her saying you were obsessed with food see that part made everyone laugh because she said that i talk about food more than anything i literally look up because we were all watching the you now i literally look up at eric and ricky and i'm like do i ever talk about food and they're just like no i honestly think she was pulling at strings trying to make y'all like think some type of way for me maybe maybe it's not true we'll never know um, whenever they wanted to hang out, they always wanted to hang out, going to get something to eat. And girl, I ain't going to deny that. I'm a fat girl. I do love me some food. Like, let's get real. But I don't sit there and talk about food 24 freaking 7. Like, no, I don't. So. <sighs> oh, yeah. So you blocked my friend for asking to guest Rafe. What are you hiding? Literally hiding nothing, and I just got done saying that I clicked someone's name, and I did not mean to block them, so I'm sorry. Um, 50. I'm just... How does Becky feel about it? She's really upset. Um, yeah. <laughs> she's really upset about it, and I imagine she's very hurt, and I wish I could take that all away. Um... What? I don't know. It just really hurts me that Rafe would say mean things about Becky because Becky. I, she keeps deserve, saying that, but there's no proof of that actually happening. Deserve that, like over anyone. And I'm not just being biased. I don't recall but Rafe talking I, shit about Becky. I firmly believe that. Um, like I think Becky's just an all-around great person, and she has never said anything horrible about Rafe or Hannah. And I just don't understand why 
I just don't understand. That's, that's, the main thing I just want to say is, I don't understand. I don't understand. <laughs> um, some, someone, Cruel Sound said Team Rafe, so obviously you're a bad friend as well. Oh my god. It's Brutal. fucking annoying. Like, whatever. We can't tell anything from she says, she says, and honestly, it doesn't matter. You need to solve this between yourselves. I have tried to solve this between me and her, but when she involves my job, which is this, and when she involves several of my subscribers or my fans or my haters, I need to come and say something. You don't just... I definitely think that Rafe was using this for some online clout, because why else... If she, like, you know, like, why else would it be a public matter like this if they were personal friends? Get to talk for over an hour and a half about me, and then I don't say anything about it? That's, that's kind of weird. No. She always seems strange to me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what if she apologizes? Any chance of being friends? No, because... Shout out again to CXNT for the timestamps on the interesting moments. Talk hella shit about me. Her reasons were, oh, I run my mouth. I'm sorry. I didn't mean any of it. You're a good friend. You're a good person. I love you. You're great. Becky will fall in love with you. Be you know, just kissing my literal ass. So I told her, give me some time. I need to think about this. Just give me some time. A few days later, which was today... I come on here, and she's talking literal crap about me. She's on her you now. For, ninety, like, 98% of it, she's just answering questions about me. And I'm just like, what? So I started listening, and she's lying. She's talking crap about me. And I'm like, that's not a friend. Like, that's backstabbing after everything I've done for her and shared with her. Like, mm-mm. Nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> That's not and I just me. want everyone to know that I don't trust anybody. I don't trust anybody. I'm not a trusting person. And I've, anyone who walks into my life knows that. I just, it takes forever okay. for me. Hannah talked shit to, to Amber about Eric. Is this next section? Hold on. And, yeah, so. I don't know. <sighs> Yeah, that's my heart rate. My ping. <laughs> Gotta get good matchmaking. Is Hannah shady too? I feel like... Hannah allowed all of this to happen. And there was a point where Hannah even um, started talking shit about Eric to me, which I already told them. That was before I really knew Eric and Ricky at all. Interesting. And... Um, that was all hey, Hannah, which is honestly shocking. So, <laughs> Hannah, so she's saying Hannah's talking shit about Eric to her. God damn. Can't stop talking. <laughs> yeah, I think that, I'm pretty sure we can wrap up at this point, Amber. One. One oh. No. 10920. Oh, oh, Amberlynn, you should get a tat of a little star with Twinkie's face in it. Oh my gosh, that'd be so cute. Like, I really feel like I want to get a tattoo that resembles Twinkie in some way because the love I have for her and like the love we share with each other is like super strong. And what about and the cats? What about the cats that you have living with Hannah and Rafe? What's the deal or with them? Like the love we share with each other is like super strong. And same with Wasabi. Um, yeah. So. And one more. You can do it. Come on. You remember? The, you remember your third pet, Amberlynn? You remember how you had three? And two of them are living with Hannah and Rafe? Is that GoFundMe real? Uh, what GoFundMe? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, I get more tattoos so bad. Here we oh, go. Oh, maybe so you have tattoos. Which ones do you have? I 
can't imagine YouTube or you now without you. Definitely YouTube queen. Oh my gosh. Whatever. But thank you. Do you like watermelon? Not really. <laughs> what about Gracie? No Gracie tattoo, Amberlynn? What's going on uh, with that? Amberlynn, does your head ever hurt? My head hurts so bad right now and I'm terrified. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Feel better. You can like take medicine or drink water or something or take a nap. But I rarely have headaches. Um, I rarely get sick. You mansplaining a headache um, right now. <laughs> it's definitely weird, but very rare. So when it does happen, I'm like a little whiny baby about it, so... Do you think maybe you shouldn't help your friends uh, make YouTube channels? See, I want to help them because I want them to get the platform. But what I feel bad about is like all the hate because people hate me so bad and are so obsessed with their hate with me. They love to hate me. It travels on. Hold to on. On 12.50. Almost done with this one. Made a GoFundMe for your of. weight loss surgery. Oh, here, yeah. yeah. Someone made a GoFundMe for your weight loss surgery. That's so weird. <sighs> Thank you, Sandra. That's super sweet. You keep... You have been skipping my questions. I'm sorry. There's just so many. Don't your arms get so tired of holding the phone up for like an hour? Yeah. But, you know. Gotta do it, I gotta do it. Oh my god, martyr! Thank you, Tabitha. Uh, what time is it here? Arm gets it so tired four, holding up the phone on these four. lives. Why did I say four? Wow, it's 9.50. That was weird. <laughs> Damn, my arms would be so tired if I was holding the phone up for over an hour. I know. Oh my god, I so think I'm getting strong. a little bit used to it. So strong of you, so brave. Thank you, Abby. Rafe said she wouldn't trust you with her pets. Would you trust yours with her? No, I would not. Um, that <laughs> honestly confused me and probably hurt me more than anything else. Um, ugh, I don't want to like... Let's just say this. Her room is literally full of dog pee and dog oh, poop. Oh, talking and shit about their house really... now. Let's go. I don't want to like... I'm up. I'm Let's up. Let's just say this. Her I'm up. room is literally full of dog pee and dog poop. And it sometimes was really hard for me to stay over there because of that. <laughs> so I'm just going to leave it at that. So. It's whatever. Thank you, La Tita, for the bars, and I love your name. Hold up. I just watched the You Now video. Rafe was super high. Please don't take what she said seriously. Drugs change thing. No. No. What does that have to fucking do with it? She smoked before she went on the You Now? Doesn't turn you into a fucking liar. <laughs> what do you mean Rafe was super high? No, no, we're not blaming it on that. You can't do that. That doesn't hold up anywhere. I love you for your kindness and kindness to others. You oh, aren't free you from consequence if you smoked before. Oh, you're always so sweet. Why did you say you loved... Wait, what the fuck, you? But why did you say you loved staying there? Because they were really good friends to me at the time. At least I thought so, so... Um... <laughs> the BPM bump. Keep your head up, girl, and protect your heart. Good advice. I'm trying. Teach us your phone holding skills, queen. I'm literally just holding my phone up. I don't know. Okay. Rafe said she was super high. What? Where did she say that at? I don't know what you guys are talking about. Um. She said it in the you know. <laughs> Dare officer. <laughs> Thank you, Madeline, for the likes. I appreciate it. Please go on a diet with me. Yes, let's do it. <laughs> I don't do drugs, liquor, but okay. She, uh, Rafe said that you smoked with her sometimes, I think. Yeah, but Mermaid Kitty, being high, to me, in my opinion, I feel like being high makes people more, like, loving and, like, 
vibes and like let's just relax. What are you and, like, a fucking out. hippie? Like smoking weed does not make people become fake evil bitches and talk shit. Like, right? No, that's not what happens. So, whoa. When will you be home? Should have just made enough pasta. It's kind of scary. Um, Yes, I did graduate high school. Hugs to you too. Hugs to you too, Tabitha. Okay, let's see where we're at. 116.44. Everyone reacts differently on drugs. I still don't see it as an excuse. 1720. We're almost there. Um, when did all this happen? It started about a week ago, so. A week ago? Oh, I guess. This too shall pass. Yeah. The initial thing. Zach said nothing rude about you. But literally, it was his name on there. Like, it was his picture, and it literally said Zach, um, whatever. Like, it's recorded, it's on YouTube. You guys need to go. Look at that. That's how I saw it. So. Oh, damn. <sighs> Zach, where are you? <laughs> and it kind of hurt me because me and Zach were supposed to be friends as well. That's a whole other. <sighs> oh, if, it's, if it couldn't be worse, it couldn't get any worse. She's got no friends left. Hannah and Rafe, she found out they were talking shit. Zach, she found out, was talking shit. She can't win. Poor Amber Lynn just constantly getting beaten down by her fake-ass friends. <laughs> you know? But do you think you can trust someone, so right? So, if we watched and comment, you think we're haters? No. Um, if you said something mean about me, then yeah, you're a hater. Super confused. Do I miss Becky Amber mean mugging? No, that's coming up Zach. in a couple minutes. Oh my gosh. Was it like a fake Zach account then? Like, I'm really confused. An imposter? Boom, 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 boom. I said Rafe, A L. Rafe is also my friend, L. Oh. Yeah, you were saying that Rafe was... Okay, well, first of all, you said that Rafe was better than me. Like, if we're, me and you were friends, so why would you sit there and, like, do that? That is my heart And then rate. you also said... You were saying things like, why does Amber Lynn always wear I'm cardigans? Like, up. that's so weird. Like, obviously, I have insecurities, so we don't need to, like... I don't know. Shout them out like that. And there was something that else was you said... That was fucked up, the thing about the ankles. That kind of, like, shocked me. I don't know. It's just... Uh, um okay this is the last like Zach, literally right the whole time Rafe was like talking shit about me and like hi puppy dog I don't know what's the matter I just screenshotted you I'm going to post you all over social media okay I'm already all over <laughs> social media I feel like Hi, puppy dog. What's the matter? Can't believe AL sold Rafe meth. What? <laughs> yeah, people are being silly. Um. Hi, sneaky little dog. How are you? I think that's about it on here. And then we're, we got the... Is Rafe the same off camera? Stirred the no, pot. she is not. After this. Amber, you're picking and choosing which questions whoops, you want to answer. If she's Hi, lying, you need dog. to address everything she said. Yeah, I am addressing everything she said. I don't guess. I'm sorry, Catherine. <laughs> Ale, you're a queen. Don't listen to the com commoners. Okay, the last couple of minutes here on this one. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're mad at anyone who watched? No! I'm just... <clears throat> no? <laughs> like, who wouldn't want to watch some drama? Like, come on. Who doesn't want to see some drama unfold? Thanks, Julie. I have a good and inspiring message. Though, 
not only for you, but something that everyone deserves to hear. Oh, uh, what is the matter? Why are you hitting? That's my other little keyboard controller. It's very shorter than you. No. She's tall. I'm short. Nice. Why fat How'd the rice turn out? Uh, no pretty good, Maybe pretty either. good. Uh, not as good as the shit that I have uh, right now ready to go in the kitchen. I took, I have this, it's like whatever, the gold rice from like Carolina brand or whatever. Put it in a pan. Uh, toasted it. Just toasted it in the dry pan. Well toasted. Well toasted before. Like it was like fucking all popped and shit. Threw in a uh, little, little oil. Uh, can of black beans. Juice and all. Uh... Cayenne, garlic powder, onion powder, some paprika, some cumin, bada bing, bada boom, a little MSG, sprinkle of salt, couple couple canfuls of water. Done. It was it's so good. What's your favorite planet? I'm gonna go with Pluto. Pluto's not a fucking planet anymore. Un unfortunately. Rip. Why am I mad at Zach? For the greatest. I think I'll just talk to him about that in private. Oh, okay, there's Zach. Zach and Emerlin will discuss this in private. I don't want to sit here and do this on here. Oh, okay. It's just some of the things. Okay, that so said kind of. Upset. She's looking. She's looking to remedy things with Zach, not with Rafe. Tell me. True Sakari you could follow on Twitch. Like this, if I could find. A friend like Amber, it would be a miracle. Okay, I think that's it for this. I have to, I have to pee really bad. So let's take, let's take a quick, quick minute or two here before we get into the uh, stirred the pot mess. Let me see, let me see where that is on here. You've already stirred the pot. Oh, is this gonna load now? Come on. Loading the page. If you were Eric, what would you have done when Amber came stampeding towards your room, shaking your Mario lamp? What's the context of that? Shaking the... Holly? What is going on? Well, this page doesn't want to load now. Oh, God. Holly! What is going on? I'm trying to pull this up. Oh my god, I'm getting so frustrated. Okay, I'm gonna be right back and we're gonna watch the thing. I was gonna pull it up ahead of time, but uh, apparently it's gonna it's gonna take a second. Gotta peep. The fuck? Fuck! <laughs> but look in your eye, I think you might have what it takes. Let me know if you need a rival. Aww. He's too cute. I like his little sleeping bag. I like his flannel. Yeah, I'm, Very I'm, wholesome. I'm considering if he should move in or not. He should. But someone has to move out. Klaus. Klaus? You think? He's I very was, nasty. See, I was thinking. Why? Oh, because she's a little bit snooty? No, she's not snooty. She's just, I don't, you know, it's just, if someone had to go, why, what do you, what do you think? I think Klaus is a little bit nasty. She, to have she doesn't actually move. Wait a second. Wait a minute. What's she doing? Wait. What? The? She's coming out. Of the, she's coming out of the screen. What the hell? What? What? What are you doing? You can't. You can't. You can't be in here. You can't be. You can't be. No! <laughs> and also really like the idea of having this because it like tells you at 7 a.m. you should be here, 9 a.m. you should be there. <laughs> Except it's full of piss. Imagine, imagine if it, imagine if you had to, if it was a bottle where you had to drink. <laughs> the entire gallon of piss every day and there's goals for 7 a.m 9 a.m and 11 a.m look how cute <laughs> and then they have a fit journal oh yeah true how's she gonna fit that into her schedule no. some of them was can you imagine can you imagine having to drink a gallon of piss every day? they open 
opening scene, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Looking out on the vastness of the Great Plateau and everything else. Surely they wouldn't let me jump off of this cliff. Done. Yeah, we're good. Run. Oh my god! Never mind. What the <laughs> fuck? Oh, you're good. Go to bed. Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> It was good. I can't, I can't open the door. Oh, I can't open the door. Oh no! I'm open. What is happening? Wrong way, Willow. Wrong way. I don't know wrong where way. to go. I can't see. Wait, this no, way. No, you're going the wrong way. This way. Turn around. This. Wait, are we capturing sections or doing a ball thing? I don't ball. really understand. Sorry, I'm back. <sighs> Okay, I don't know why it didn't want to... It's acting like I'm not connected to the internet for some reason, which is very concerning. Holly, we hear you shipping. We hear you shipping. Okay? It's literally not loading YouTube for me now. What is going on? Why is, why is my computer doing this all of a sudden? It literally won't open YouTube. I'm so confused. I'll try a different browser? Oh, it, I think it just popped on. Oh, thank God. Okay. Whew. <laughs> um, you already stirred the pond. There it is. Okay. Hi, puppy dog. How you doing? Too much swag, true. Uh, we'll go to... I guess this one, because this one's full screen. <sighs> okay. 720. It's a little, this one's a little, be, a, little, a little crunchy, too. Oh, this is not it. Bop, bop. I figured it out before anything bad happened, okay? So I believe this was, I don't have the date for this one unfortunately, this is just someone re-uploaded this. Uh, this was a video that was up on Amber's channel, I think after this whole thing, okay? Ooh. And this is all we're going to be well, doing. She likes it. Quiet. And, you know, she, she likes the drama, she likes the because she never got it. Becky, okay. Becky going with the low blows right off the bat. The thing is, like, me and Becky, a few days ago, filmed videos together. They're cute, and Becky's happy in them, and you guys get to see Becky. Becky being so mad in the Lego Indiana Jones shirt. Very true. In a whole new light, and we have now you're going to see water. this. We have had a wonderful weekend. Hey, Rebecca And now Williams. you're going to see this video, and this is going to be the first video you ever see of me and Becky. Don't mess with Becky. I'm not gonna have some grand like intro or anything like that. I'm just here because I am extremely frustrated and I want to share the truth. I was gonna say a story of what's currently occurring. A lot of you probably have no idea what's going on. Um, Becky has to go to work soon, but she was like in the Indiana Let's Jones shirt. Make a video to get this all out in the open, and I don't honestly don't even know where to start. Okay. <laughs> Why don't you start? Okay. I'm just so upset. A sour push, Becky. Everlyn was gonna move in. Oh no. Okay. Whenever me and the boys moved where we moved, our landlord said, "Oh, there's only two small animals." Okay. That's all I'm allowing. Some of you are probably like, "What are you guys talking about?" Let me just be clear because it's kind of hard to hear. Becky says, "When Becky and Eric and Ricky moved into the place, the landlord said only two animals." Two small and animals. My two cats. Real quick, the backstory is I was not supposed to have my two cats here. So, Rafe was a very good friend of mine at the time. And we I. Her. 
Yeah, we trusted her because she has animals. Though she might live in a horrible living space, um, they treated their animals with love, and I know they would do the same with mine. Okay, this being said, we were not going to take this to YouTube until we woke up to the things we woke up to. Okay. Becky getting very worked up, very worked up. We're both very upset because it's like, why would a friend? <laughs> Traveling with twins, thanks so much for the super chat. This didn't wipe Becky the right way. Something wasn't sitting right. Something wasn't sitting. <laughs> Something, this ain't this. This one don't don't tickle the fancy. This, all it does is stir the pot. You know. Thanks so much. Appreciate Dude, Traveling with twins. Because Amber Lynn kind of recalled this whole thing about um, the cat staying with Hannah Rave. I, I thought that she meant it was about the apartment that she had been in, in between Destiny and Becky. But I don't know if I just misinterpreted that or if she was being just, weird about it. Becky says Eric and Ricky wanted to have some other people live with them previous to Amberlynn, and the landlord said no because those people are going to bring three small animals with them. Dogs. Yeah, all three dogs. And they're very small. They were all it's great small rice. dogs, just like the dogs that we have now. But like she's saying, the landlord said no because he does not want any more animals in his home. This is still his home. We're renting his home. Right. And whenever Amber Lynn was going to move in, I was terrified because we didn't even I have three cats. We didn't even want three animals. We didn't. You have two cats and a dog. I know. I said three cats, three animals were. We didn't even want to tell them about Twinkie, but we was like, you know, we can't. With Twinkie and the cats, like, that's just too much on Amber Lynn. So we talked to him, and at first he was very weary about it. He's just like, I don't know. I, I don't know. Yeah, and then and he met Twinkie, and it's like the instant he saw her, and then, he was just like, okay. <laughs> yeah, no, no, you can't. So, they thought they were going to try to show Twinkie to the landlord who said only two small pets, which would already be Chubbs and Trixie at that house. Eric and Ricky's pets. So they're like, let's just, sh let's, let's have him meet Twinkie Star and see if at least Twinkie Star can stay without yet having any concern for the two cats. I know Twinkie, look at her. She's great. But while we were showing him Twinkie, he was like, we were going to tell him about the cats. We were, while he was meeting Twinkie, and in that very sweep of the moment, he was like, you don't have any other animals, do you? Because they're not going to be allowed. So I didn't even bring it up because I was terrified. Because at this moment, this was my only option of living there is very very small options to rent around in these parts and i know a lot of people have asked me several times amberlynn why do you even why do you even want to move because where i was living i was very secluded i was hours away from anyone that i knew i was very lonely and depressed it's so interesting so to me I that to that it was an option for her to be like, well, what if I just have two of my pets live with someone else instead? Change. You know, well, that, 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 that wouldn't be an point, option yes. to me. Um, and I did not want to renew it. So I was terrified to tell the landlord, yeah, I also have two cats because I knew he was going to say no. He said no to other people prior who wanted to move in here. He was like, no, because they have three animals. And the fact that when he was meeting Twinkie, he literally said, I hope you have no more animals because they're not going to be allowed. So that was my way of getting an answer of, oh, fuck, I'm not going to be able to have my cats. And that scared me. And I was always, and I was already very nervous to meet them. Actually freaking yeah, if, if she was able to have the three pets at the apartment that she was at before, she just fucking renewed the lease on that, I guess. Like, I, mean, I do a lot of cry about fucking crying about cats she been almost even begging me can we move 
can we go somewhere so I can have my cats? And I'm like, I can't yeah. because we're not finding nowhere around here. And I work around here. The desperation you know, so to be family around here. I can't yes. just up and meet, uh, you know, up and move. It's been hard. Right. It's been very Justifying hard. moving in with you her so soon. You guys don't see what is behind the camera. You guys hear a story from someone hey, who Jasmine. should be our friend. Like, literally, we just saw her and helped her because she has a flea market job. Uh, that's yeah, we, we literally took time out of our day just to go see And to her. help them and support them and go buy things from them. The same and day we went and got nice. her Christmas presents, mind you. It's just, okay, so a lot of you are like, okay, well, what did Rafe do? Well, first of all... Why are you smacking your gums into the microphone? We were all friends. This is the part that confuses me the most, I think, and I'm just like... What? Like, why I'm so hurt right now because I just came out of left field and I gave, I gave her another chance. Yeah, I'm just letting you guys know that this, this isn't just about me. It's also about Becky. Becky has known Rafe for years and everybody thinks I just chose Amberlynn. You know? That's wild. Becky knew them for years and this only just came up now. I know what's happened. You don't. You're hearing one side of the story. And it's not what's freaking happening. To make a long story short, let's just say we're all friends. Everything's fine. And the whole thing about Rafe saying I only gave her $20 once is a big fucking lie. So when I first had them watch Rarity and Wasabi, the things I supplied them with were two litters and a thing of gentle cat food because that is what they eat. Okay. And I sat there and I told them, and I was like, okay, this is what they eat and their toys. Oh, yeah, I, I was going to get to that point. I was like, this is what they eat. This is the type of litter they want. I will pay you at the beginning of each month for these things. So on top of all that, I had a basket full of toys. I'm talking about the basket was probably about $20. All the toys together were about $40. And I was like, this is for them. And not only that, now that I have my cats back, I didn't get anything back. I didn't get my toys back. I didn't get my basket back. But we don't even have to talk about that. It don't even matter. Like, what? Like, why would Why would they keep home. those things from the cats? And I even told them. I tell them this all the time. Like, when they give me rides somewhere. Like, if I need them specifically for a ride. If I'm like, hey, I need a ride somewhere. Which is very rare. I think it's happened, like, once or twice. I literally tell them, I'll pay you for gas. And I'll pay you for convenience. Just like when they, they took food. Even. Yeah, I've done a lot for them. Um, I've done a lot Damn. for Rafe. I'm not going to drag Hannah in this because I love her dearly and she has nothing right. to do with this. Hannah's, Hannah's, anything. Hannah's pretty upset herself. Um, so when I said, will you watch my cats for me? I will pay for the litter. I will Makes pay sense. for the food. Makes sense. I will pay for anything that they need if they get sick, etc. Makes sense. I will also pay for convenience. They said no to the convenience. They said, no, you just, you know, we're doing this as friends. But we don't have money, so we do need help with the litter and the food. And I was like, girl, 100%. Like, completely. But now, all of a sudden, Rafe is turning this around, saying, I've only paid her once, which is a fucking lie. Oh, I didn't damn. need to pay her the first month because I was supplying her with the food. I was supplying her with the litter, with everything that they needed right then and there. I also gave her litter boxes. So... I did everything I could for that month, and they wow. were totally like, oh my god, yeah, that's totally fine, that's great, yes, 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 yes. Next month, I was at their house, and I gave them the money. Next month, we were actually at the Cheesecake Factory, and I actually vlogged, but I didn't vlog this situation, obviously. Again, I gave them the money. I did not give them the money for It's no, so weird, because like, she like set this whole up th thing up like... Uh of Hannah and Rafe watching her cats as if living with Becky was like an extremely temporary scenario. What is the matter, puppy dog? What's the matter? You're getting all uppity. Yet. What, what is today, November we 7th? were going to take them personally. Let, I tell you this, two days ago, I was talking to Rafe myself and we made plans to hang out. Saturday. We made plans to hang out. But behind her back, she's on a hate group spreading false I got the text us. to prove that we were supposed to hang out. I got the fucking text. And we were That's going to insane. take in litter and food. Proof that you're supposed to I hang said, out doesn't give say much. Money, I'm just going to buy extra litter and extra food. Give it to them. Sorry, I'm getting a long time. I'm so frustrated. And it's like, uh, And I know a lot of you are like, okay, Merlin, why do you have your cats now? Well, 
I started receiving messages, screenshots, all kinds of crap about Rafe being... Here we go. ...inside of a hate group trying to get money to get Rarity fixed. I want to let you guys know that all three of my animals, Twinkie Star, Rarity Gray... A rumored GoFundMe set up by Rafe on the, in a hater group to to get the cats fucking fixed. Wasabi, all are updated on shots. I have blogged this. <laughs> Destiny knows. Oh yeah, because Destiny was there. Destiny um, I take care of my animals. You guys might think otherwise because you guys read these stories and come up with your own little fucking lies. I don't Ooh. understand. I don't. I don't get it. I really don't. I'm sorry. I'm so frustrated, but I just don't understand. And the reason why Rarity has not been fixed is because she was not old enough. And I'm going to be honest, and I know this is bad of me for me. Her, her whole story about, about not being able to get Rafe, uh, <laughs> Rarity fixed uh, is just, like, very weird. Though she just doesn't... She explains everything extremely vaguely in a way that, like, the answers are just not satisfying. It came into my head, but the reason why I did not want her to... She was saying, like the, was, like, the vet was supposed to call her back or something, like... like what a hoarder's house looks like you guys have seen it in my vlogs i'm not trying to be rude but when an animal gets surgery i don't care if it's as small as a fucking spay they still need to be in a clean and safe environment that isn't cluttered and gross it's that simple and trust me that doesn't happen here because eric is very particular he's a very clean person eric's and a very, very clean person so and not only that even if Rafe's house was spick and span and sparkly clean I don't want other people paying for my animals. I'm not that person. I do not ask people for money. I do everything myself besides drive. <laughs> Driving is literally the only thing Amberlynn has done. You wouldn't believe how much Amberlynn has helped me out. And, and she does people, that because she's my girlfriend. And I love you. Yeah. Holly, people, we hear you shipping. <laughs> people don't understand that. People look at me and they're like, Amberlynn needs a caretaker and really needs help. She doesn't pay for her bills. She doesn't do nothing for herself. It's not true. Okay. So I'm letting you guys know that you guys are wrong. And when I say you guys, I'm not talking about everyone. Like, I know a lot of people believe in the person that I am. But the reason why I have my cats now is because I saw that. And not only that, but I saw that Rafe was saying bad, bad things. Horrible things. And I'm just like, okay. we were just going to hang out. We were just texting. I, I'm so confused. We just saw her two two Saturdays ago. I I was like, what? I I'm I'm a lo I'm at a loss for words. I was just texting Hannah about, hey, we're gonna we're gonna hang out, and I'm gonna give you the litter and the this and the that, and now all of a sudden I don't I don't I don't help with that. I'm like, are you serious right now? Yeah, it doesn't make sense. She's like, you the their house isn't clean enough. For an animal that's just had surgery, but so is it clean enough for animals in general? It was, like I said, the beginning of each month, but we hadn't seen them in November yet. So I didn't give the litter and the cat food to them then, if that makes sense. I got very desperate, and I was like, I don't want people to pay for Rarity to get fixed, and I do not, do not want Hi, Rarity Holly. in that disgusting environment while... She has had surgery. It's just not going to happen. And not only that, but I wanted to be there for her. I wanted to be the one paying for it. She would have already been fixed if, in the state of Kentucky, you were allowed to get fixed under six months. Because I was already going to get her fixed. Is it possible there's a reason for that, Amber that They're like, no, she has to be a year old. And I'm just like, that's weird to me. Because when I first adopted Wasabi, he was three months old and already fixed. But that was in Florida. It's different in yeah, every that, single state. Yeah, that was in fucking so, Florida. I got very desperate and I'm like I'm not gonna let also it's a different operation I don't know what the ages are for have it. my cats they mean everything or to give me. them away because apparently that's what she was trying to oh do. yeah she was trying at one point she was actually trying to give my animals away and I'm like who who are you as a person like I don't understand like oh. it, it's it's crazy to me it's just crazy to me and I'm gonna be honest to going back I probably should have just been like, you know what, to my landlord, I do have two cats, but when you're in that moment, you're terrified. And right. You Coming like out to the landlord about the truth. It's your last, your only hope, and I'm going to 
be honest. I was like, you had no other choice. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I had a moment where I I was gonna sneak my animals in here, and you know, a moment of I weakness. Didn't do that, though, where you lied to the landlord. So another thing that is a rumor is that my cats are gonna be hidden in a basement. No, they're actually in the room with us right now. Yeah, um, they are a little frightened because this is you know a new environment. That's always what happens when you know cats are very skittish. But I decided to say fuck it. I'm gonna text my landlord and I'm gonna tell him, you know, I Coming do have clean. two cats, and the screenshot that's being floated around has um, exposing the truth to the landlord, spilling tea to the landlord. Ink on it because I wanted to take off the drama, and that screenshot was actually just meant for Rafe, and she posted it everywhere because she's a vile, disgusting person. I'm not gonna God sit damn. here and tell you why she's vile. I think you guys should get it. <laughs> I think you. A lot of you have, have messaged me uh, every time she's on you now, and you read through her, and you're just like, she's a bad person. It's like, I didn't want to see that, especially because Becky and her used to be best friends. I ended up texting my landlord. Well, it was no. actually, it was Becky who texted him. Oh, oh that's, that's a totally different story from you texting him. From the person I have known all these years, the person I stuck up for in school and stayed at her house and was with her when her parents, like, passed away. I just don't understand how someone could do this. That I've known this long. How could you do this? Yeah. Um, I know. That's crazy how you're friends with how you're friends with them for so many years, and then Amber Lynn showed up, and suddenly bad things happen. Said really bad things. About That's crazy. Us. Said that Becky tried to get me to dump Rarity off somewhere. That is not true. I don't know why she. Mm, I, I, I just. I'll never understand. I don't understand why people don't think I don't love animals. I grew up with tons of dogs and one cat. I was only, we were only allowed one cat. Dad didn't like cats, but we had All right. so many outdoor animals and they were so happy. Outdoor so animals. Bad. Take care of. And I loved on them and played with them. I don't understand why people Interesting don't think Because I, I do. <laughs> and I love What was that last minute Wasabi. twist there? I No such thing as an outdoor dog. It honestly breaks my heart that people think I don't care about my animals. Because I trusted Rafe. My landlord blocked me? And not (laughs) to turn into this just vicious monster. And I I don't know. But I got so hurt by the things that she said and how she was going about things. I was like, haters are not going to be paying for my cats to get fit my cat to get fixed because i have that money and i do not want rarity in a disgusting home after having surgery it's just not going to happen i just i told becky text the landlord just to let him know um and in the pink parts that are crossed out in the viral screenshot i have not um, seen the viral screenshot is her saying that we have had a falling out uh with rafe and i didn't want to I, I, I had a feeling. I had a very... I didn't that she would post it. That's how, that's how you know. That is literally how you know not to trust someone when you feel that gut feeling. So I had crossed that part off because... Did they tell the landlord that they got into a fight with the person who's watching the cats and now they need to bring them back? Oh, no, we didn't even oh. say it. Sorry, Eric was like... Go ahead. Eric can too. Okay, uh, well, the reason why we even sent the screenshot is because um, Becky had texted Rafe, and, or was it Hannah? Well, I just texted Hannah. I didn't get much out of Hannah. Well, you let them know, yeah. we're, we're going to get the cats. Our landlord said it was okay. And then I wasn't getting anything back after that, after I let them know that we were going to get the cats that night. Which I was shocked that Which he was said my yes. idea. <laughs> I was literally, yeah. By the way, it was her idea to go out in a storm. They, they a- have the most... Patient fucking well, landlord at this place, it seems like. <laughs> um, yeah, I was seriously shocked that the landlord even said yes. I was taken aback, and I started crying. You can ask Eric. I got They up, literally like, told him you. days before or whatever that there's no other animals. But because he was laying in his room, he didn't feel good. And I was so ecstatic, you guys. I was like, I can have my fucking cats. Like, I cannot believe this. I was super, super You know, there was a way that you could have kept all the pets the entire time. Excited, and I was so happy. Um, it's unfortunate. Frank happened. called the landlord Ray for it. ended yeah. up texting Eric and said, Did Amberlynn get clearance from the landlord about how you guys are? Yeah, did Amberlynn get clearance?
complaints from the landlord about having the cats there. I guess I can understand her asking that. It's like, whatever. But then how it went down was not so good. Oh, my it, God. You know if they didn't actually get cleared for having the cats there, Rafe would have fucking ratted so hard. Rafe was like, well, yeah, it's fine with me. It's fine with the landlord. Like, I was like, yeah, they've been texting them all day. Uh, they have text messages. I was like, yeah, they've been texting all day. Well, not to get any of you guys, but can I have his phone number so I can ask him myself? And I said, no, he will get mad if you try calling. He does not know this girl. He does not know he's, she even exists. He did not know these cats existed until yesterday. And you're wanting to call him up at 9 o'clock at night to ask him questions to tell him drama that he doesn't give two shits about. And giving out his personal number. I'm not giving out my landlord right. number without his Yeah, question. exactly. I have his great job to prove it. Rafe was being, it was just inappropriate. She leave him alone. Yeah, it was being, she it was very to, inappropriate. It was getting to a level of, like, I'm not trying to be dramatic, but of, like, harassing. I literally kept saying I'm not giving you his number. She kept texting me and asking for his number repeatedly. I have the message. Asking for the fucking landlord's number? Uh, oh, no, you're reading me everything, and I'm just like, are you for real? I for this big message. Is Eric saying that Rafe was desperately asking him for the fucking landlord's number? Becky says, everybody's fine with it, and yet you're refusing to give someone's cats to them. The one that's being given anyone the run around here is you. Right. I was like, Can't you have proof. I told you, I sent you screenshots, and you're still not accepting any of it. You're being, like, psychotic right now. She was being it was, it was bad. Crazy. She was being fucking crazy. I saw that. I texted to Hannah because... Very okay. interesting to hear that from, uh, from Erica. I didn't even know I was blocked. Rafe blocks me from her cell phone. I wanted to... Okay. When I found out about all of this, um, I wanted to FaceTime her and talk like an adult. I am 26 years old. What? About, um, I guess what Hannah told you about, um, she just, it's afraid it's going to turn into an argument. No, I'm like, text messages, she's like, she has to be blocked and she doesn't want to hear your shit. That's exactly her word. <sighs> I, that. I wanted to FaceTime Rafe because when, when you have a friend and they're sitting there talking shit about you, you kind of want to. Get Eric thinking about all the so bath and body to work he's gonna get soon. Well, it's a reward. Her, it's like, it's like a reward. And it turns out I was blocked the whole time. Um, I don't, I don't know why. I think it's because she knew what she was doing was wrong and was bad, and, and she knew there was going to be consequences. Yeah. So I texted Hannah and I was like, you know what? If Rafe doesn't want to talk to me, that's fine. But I'm super excited. I get my cast back. So I was wondering if we can come over tomorrow. We were going to do it before Becky went into work. We weren't going to be all like crazy going out in a thunder fucking storm. Hannah was like, no, we have plans. They don't usually have plans. So that kind of rubbed me wrong. And I was just like, well, is it okay if we show up like right when you guys are about to leave? Like it'll take, it'll take less than a minute. And so she never replied to that. So I, I texted Becky while Becky was at work and I was like, they don't want they don't want us to come over tomorrow. So she, Becky texted me and was like, we're going to get them tonight then. Say, can we get them tonight? And I texted Becky and I was like, uh, it's kind of stormy now. And she was like, I don't care. Yeah, because I don't care. Here's the thing. As crazy as she's been acting. Thanks, the Jenny jump. to say that she went and randomly give them to someone. Whoever. Okay, so they're so they're trying to communicate with Hannah and Rafe to get the cats back after they got approval from the landlord, and according to Amberlyn and Becky, they're giving them a runaround about when they can pick the cats up. I was honestly really scared because she was acting weird. She was frantically cleaning the litter boxes. Like, why was someone coming over? Oh yeah, like because I texted Hannah when I was trying to Facetime Rafe, and I was like. Why isn't Rafe answering my FaceTimes? Like, I just want to talk to her. I do not want to argue. I hate, I hate fucking arguing. I hate really? drama. Like, what the fuck is this? So, um, and Hannah's like, she's frantically cleaning for some reason. And I was like, oh. And she was like, yeah, she's cleaning the litter boxes. And I'm not trying to be mean. That kind of sh shocked me, I guess you could say. They have about four or five litter boxes. And every time I go over there, they're all completely, like, just disgusting. And I don't know what Then why did you leave the fucking animals with them if every time you go over there, the litter boxes are disgusting? What's up to? And I'm like, Rafe doesn't frantically clean. And it's just, everything was so weird. And I don't know. So finally, when Becky was like, 
we're just going to get them tonight. See if we can meet them tonight because they're night owls. So we were going to drive, which a lot of people were like, hour and a half. No, to get to um, Hannah and Rafe's house is about, say, like 40 minutes, 45 minutes to get to their house. We were going to drive there. We weren't going to meet them anywhere. Da, da, da. Um, and so Hannah was like, okay, I'll meet you outside with the cats. And I was like, well, I kind of want to talk to Rafe. I want to figure out what's going on. And she was like, Rafe does not want to talk right now. And okay. and then she sent me um, a text saying, Rafe really hopes that none of this gets to YouTube. And I was like, huh? Why? And she was like, because Rafe doesn't want the drama. And I'm like, so it's okay yeah. for Rafe to start drama on my end by going to hate groups. But the minute I'm going to have anything to say... It's because Rafe is in the wrong, and Rafe knows that she's in the wrong. I'm also in the wrong. I should have mentioned to the landlord that I had cats right off the bat, but he had already said prior, like in five different ways. Okay, okay, no yeah. Other animals, especially. Yeah, how the cats. fuck did so, they become friends after this? This is so crazy. Finally, when I had texted Hannah and I the said. The video that I reacted to today, up on the channel, uploaded today, they're fucking hanging out. Amberlynn's hanging out with, with Hannah and Rafe at their house. They went shopping and went to their house. Okay, so Becky wants to meet, you know, tonight, if that's okay. And so she said it's okay, we were going to meet her. And then eventually I she wanted to just meet somewhere. So we ended up meeting at some gas station. It was totally random. It was raining. It was storming. storming. But Becky wanted to do this. She wanted to get the animals. She was very hurt. And... With everyone saying, well, your, your landlord, we're, we're going to tell him, we're going to let him know. He already knows. And the only reason he said yes is because we are paying him extra for them. And he said if there's any damage done because the cats would not declawed, Amberlynn doesn't believe in declawing them. No. Right. We have to pay for it. Of course. And that's absolutely okay. She, she. <laughs> her together as a unit could pay for if they do anything which i doubt they will that's why he's let us have them i'm just i'm just shocked that he allowed it and you know i have regrets in my life and i have made mistakes in my life um and sometimes you need to be kicked in the butt to speak up and i guess mm. this is this is what i needed was rafe being an absolute horrible person all the while Funny. Telling her, oh yeah, we're gonna hang out next weekend. All oh, while wow. I got the talk, I got the text messages. If anybody wants to see it, right, being completely fucking fake to my fucking face. This was not going to go to you. YouTube. That's not to your face if it's in a text message. But go on. Not want this on YouTube. Neither did I. I didn't want no one to know. And apparently, Ray doesn't want it going on YouTube because she don't want the drama. She doesn't want the drama. But yeah, but that's what you're doing when you're going to a hate group, baby. You've already stirred the pot. You've already let these people know. And this Becky is all fitting we're going a to be. pop she of blood vessel. It. And you know what she, she likes that? the drama. She likes the attention because she never got it. She doesn't get the attention. Oh, okay, okay. So the thing at the beginning was uh, was uh, was a little clip of what's to come. Ray doesn't want it going on YouTube because she don't want the drama. She doesn't want the drama. But yeah, it. but that's what you're doing when you're going to a hate group, baby. You've already stirred the pot. Already, already stirred it. And this is that pot is baby. stirred. She likes it. Like Amberlynn's she likes chili. Drama, she likes the attention because she never got it. She doesn't get the attention and now she is. And you know what breaks my heart more than anything? is like me and Becky. Pot no equals like stirred. Me and Becky a few days ago filmed videos together. They're cute and Becky's happy in them. And you guys get to see Thanks Becky for the smiley face, in a whole new cool. light. And we have now you're going to see this. We have had a wonderful weekend up until And now you're going to see this video. And this is going to be the first video you ever see of me and Becky. Because we have to upload this today. And it makes me sad. Because you guys are going to think Becky's some crazy person. Which she's not. It's just. You just don't want to get me mad. Is all I'm saying. Break to so the uh, was this the first time that Becky was actually shown on Amberlynn's channel? In a significant amount? That's really unfortunate. A wrong deal. Is that Dustachino right there? Hi, Dustin. How are you? That's the end. That's the end of the 
Yeah, I, I, feel, I feel dumb because Rafe has done this before. Welcome to Wildo Traveling with Twins. Appreciate you becoming a member. Where she went and talked shit about us when we were supposed to be friends, you know. and now she's doing it again. So Don't it's like... pulling my charger, my 3DS that, that, that I recently over hacked. Over Rafe. No, Rafe. With your tail. Why why are you guys all hitting the charger of my 3DS that's freshly hacked? Surprisingly easy to do. The the 3DS charger that's hacked that was surprisingly easy to do is not anyone's enemy here. It's not in the way. Why are we all smacking it like it's a problem? There's no harm caused by modding a 3DS. Hey, Michael Williams. I'm done. Yeah, after everything that's happened, um, I got my I got my animals back, and I'm very happy about it. The landlord knows uh, they could wander anywhere. Um, we're going to have one cat box at one end of the house and another at the other end, so they can go wherever they want. They're not going to be stuck in no fucking basement. I'm not an Genius. animal neglector. They're my babies, and I'm just very glad I have them. And as for Rarity being fixed, the only, like I said, the only reason why it didn't happen is because she was not old enough. So now that I do have now her... Now Holly's angrily chewing on her bone, taking her anger out on it. And now we have a clean enough. home, and she is old enough. Um, I actually have called to make an appointment to get her spayed, and I will be paying for that. I will be doing... That I will be there to take care of Love her, to see that. that. I Love to see that stepping know. up to the plate, stepping up to the plate. Let's go. I don't want Dr. Some Phil. Weird donation business to start happening because I that is Amberlynn made the call to get rarity spade. And I don't want people to pay to do things for me. I'm I'm sorry. I, I just don't want that. That's that's not the person that I am. Um and I think what hurt me the fucking most is that Rafe thought she needed money from the haters in the hate group instead of coming to me. Well, she did come to you, but you said, I want to be the one to pay for it. I want to be the one to be there for her. No, she came to me after the hate group. Oh. Yeah, because she sent me a text and she said verbatim, Hey doll, is it okay if on Monday I make an appointment for Rarity to get fixed? And I was like, I want to be there for her to do that. I, 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 I didn't want to be mean. I didn't want to tell her, I'm sorry, Rafe, but your house is disgusting. And I don't know if I want her to be in that type of environment after she gets out of surgery. Because that's how you end up with infections. I know to get spayed is probably an easy process. I don't know much about it. But still, I don't want Rarity to get sick or something. So when I had told her... You know, I kind of want um, to be there for her. Rafe kind of was just like, okay, it was just a suggestion, more or less. I'm like, but this oh, was Rarity after the GoFundMe shit? Go against Rarity's owner and do it anyway. Mm. For money, m money from people that hate Amberlynn. Yeah, it, it's just a really weird situation. Mm -hmm. And I wish that Rafe would have came to me like, Thanks, CEO so I think it's memes. about time, you know, to get Rarity fixed, and I know you said you'd pay for it, duh, I'm the owner, but she never came to me about that at all, in the slightest. And even if she did, I, I, I don't know what I would say, because it's like, I don't want to sit there, because Rafe was my friend, and I did not want to sit there and be like, I don't feel comfortable with my cat in your home. Amber, this house is disgusting, After also surgery, Amber stays I, I, every I weekend, very that. true. I'm not a bad friend like y'all think I am. Now, I don't care. Because I've always been the type of person, when this kind of stuff went down, I just went into the background because I love everyone and I just want everyone to get along and I don't want there to be peace. And so true, Becky, so true. Peace. Make peace. No, uh, Rafe, let my... I'm just going to say this word. I don't think I'm famous at all. But this is how a lot of people describe it. Let your fame it. get to your head. Rafe let my fame, if you will, my online small fame, get to her head. Oh, damn. Rafe let my fame get to her head. Holy shit. Yeah, she's because she, be she became a completely different person. 
happened. Oh my after god. We started, like I noticed it at the beginning. Um like when we'd go on you now, I noticed little things of like she became snippy towards me and Which, the love, the attention. The people watching saw too. Oh god, they saw. Yeah. Like I like I told someone I work with yesterday, she's jealous of what you have. Even though what Yeah, I it really have, doesn't it just she's not she's not it's not giving I love my pets vibes when she's like, yeah, so I was going to have my pets stay with someone else for the duration of my stay at this house. But every time we went there, the (laughs) litter boxes were filthy. Their house was disgusting. They made a GoFundMe in a hate group about me to raise money to get my pets neutered without me knowing. This is just uh, it's ridiculous. Not, you know, it's she hard. There's your... bittersweet. It's bittersweet. She, she's jealous of the YouTube thing. She's jealous of the cats. She's jealous of all the attention you get, whether it's good or bad. True. And she wants the attention to be on her. She's always been that way. She wants the attention to be on her. And I know She'll a lot pick of me. people are going to watch this and be like, you guys are ragging. Oh, so that was the problem. There was two pick me's in the friend group. Dragging race. No, this that is was just not the freaking intention. This is just to get it out and to let you guys know. That Rafe isn't the person you guys think she is, and how how do people know that Becky is currently living with Rafe? With this, this is. I remember that that being mentioned when when Becky initially made that channel and was posting on it. The is second that, time we've had to do this, I didn't make a video. I think that's the still the case. Time, um, so I just went on you now and was like, y'all, like Rafe is cray. But I always forgive. I always forgive people, and I always give people second chances, and I'm just done doing that. I'm I'm done doing that. I'm like I said, I'm not the person hey, to seek help. do this hey, type Jamie of thing. Rose. I hate the camera. People don't see a lot of me, but I'm sick and tired of it. I'm tired. I'm almost 30 years old, and this is immature bullshit. Yeah, and I've had enough. Whenever I have to go to work and stress about this and my blood pressure shoot up, I've had enough. And that's why I've got less than an hour before I have to go to work. I'm not even close to ready. I've not ate a bot today. I mean, and again, haven't I did not tell Becky to film this. I haven't ate a bot today. I was going to wait until she went to work. <laughs> I said I wanted to be in this. I was going to have like... Happen her like a Indiana Jones shirt. I, even, I was going to even told her I was going to have a list of what to talk about. But Becky wanted this. And I was like, where do we even start? And she just goes, start from the beginning. She even said this in the video because... It's just all so jumbled and there's things that I should say but I'm not going to because it's like you guys can take it however you want but I'm just very grateful that I can have my kids now. It just, it really hurts. Like it breaks my heart because I love them. I still do. I still love Rafe. Even after all she's done. It's like an unconditional. Oof. Oof. You feel that one. You guys just I haven't eaten all day. You know, I've had a falling out or two throughout the years with them, but we've always made up, and it's always went back to the way it was. And when Rafe had no one, and she was sitting at her desk crying, and everyone else was out in the lunchroom making fun of her, I went in there, and I made her my friend. That's how you all met. Me and Rafe was friends before Hannah came along. And then we became the three of me. I was in. And it's like, I feel a big guilt because of this. And I almost feel like all this is my fault. It's not your fault. It's Rafe. But it's like, you've not done anything to her. Maybe I shouldn't have introduced her to like the whole YouTube side of things. I don't wish you would have. And I just, I. I'm the one who introduced her to all these like hate groups about me and I was just like, yeah, look at these, like these are so crazy, like people are crazy. And why would hang out? She spent 70% of the time just looking oh, at them. She and was Hannah, obsessed with keeping Hannah jokes. would get so upset and she'd be like, Can you please get off? This was before they had unlimited data. 
and Hannah just feel like you're using all the data like Ray couldn't listen and she literally sit there and just continue and continue to read it all and now she has became one of them almost very dramatic um, no she is one now she is one <laughs> you guys are gonna watch this and I'm sure you guys are gonna have questions and concerns and, and there's gonna be people that's not gonna believe it oh there's gonna be several people just because of who you are and how you feel about her people are gonna watch believing, this believing bullshit and people who are clearly lying you know mm. what I was referring to for that mm. oh, stupid yeah. bitch but I hope you guys watch this and I'm sorry that this is how you see <sighs> this just sucks because we had videos filmed and they're cute and they're edited cute and mm. they can still they're fun up. and then if people still like me cool if people don't and you want to see me in this slide you think I'm terrible go ahead I don't care I do not care what your opinion of me is. All that matters is I have my girlfriend, who I love, and she's never going to kill herself and slit her wrist because I have her back. Yeah, and someone, someone literally told me to slit my wrist today. today. Yeah. So, you know, because supposedly... Whoa, whoa, um, whoa. Hey now, hey now. Whoa, whoa, like, content yeah, warning, guys. Whoa, yeah, whoa, they were just hey. Out from, yeah, as friends, as caring... God friends, damn! That I would 100% the fucking the the fucking just. Oh. The shock, the shock value. You want some any, shock value you know, sympathy? Yeah, that's a great idea. Fucking call her up on Snapchat if you need to know more. But, uh, I don't really know what else to say about this. I just, I can't wait for my animals to not be so skittish, and they're really going to enjoy it here. Um, it's very they're not big. skittish of any of us. Like, they even like warm to airy. What's it's wrong? Just oh, it's just a new environment for sure. They don't have their scent anywhere. Yeah. Um, which, they'll love it here, and I'm super excited. I get to, um, buy them all new toys because I didn't get their toys back. Um, I'm going to buy them scratch posts and cat trees. Not trees, just one because <laughs> those are expensive and they're big. I'm just going to make them feel at home. I'm going to add that into your daily life when I introduce This is my girlfriend who I love very much who's not going to kill herself. <laughs> the best way they can. And I know they miss me because, you know, the minute we already saw her, she was just like glued to all the way home. Wasabi is more like. <laughs> I didn't realize that was on the table. Like, Wasabi is more like. I don't know how to explain it. Um, Wasabi would be the one to door. Yeah. He just gets very. I don't know. Skittish. Really. Because he went through a tornado one time, which you guys know about that. Anyways. Um, again, any questions, just come to Snapchat. This video is super long. I'm going to have to edit it down as much as I can. I'm sorry, this is the first time you have to see Becky. So bad. This is just a mess. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Alright. Nice outro there. Uh, so who's telling the truth? Guys. I don't know why that I guess it made sense at the time. Who Who's telling the truth? And how- and- and how much of it? Um... I want to say they definitely both exaggerated things. I'm sure to an extensive degree. But... I don't know, I don't know, I don't know if uh, Rafe had any kind of uh response to Amberlynn just saying how much of Rafe's shit was lies. <laughs> Cause she explained it a lot better. All the money issues and whatnot. What's the matter, puppy dog? What's the matter? You gotta go outside or something? What's the matter? Team Ricky? Ricky really shut it down, right? <laughs> Yeah.
Yeah, they both, I'm sure they both lie plenty, right? I'm surprised how, how little I believe anything Rafe said in this after, after getting, after hearing both sides of this, right? You right, puppy dog? I thought like, I assume we're going to go into this and be like, oh, Amberlynn's up to her same old bullshit or whatever. But like, I don't know. I don't know. Rafe seems to be a pretty, <laughs> a pretty solid shit talker. <laughs> Believe in the one bra she wore years on end. Okay. All right. Yeah, Rick, Rick, Ricky coming, uh, coming into that, to that you now really, really sealed the deal. I feel like he, he sounded pretty genuine. He was like, "Listen, Eric doesn't get involved with this fucking drama." He wanted to do the YouTube stuff as like a as like a thing to relieve his anxiety, or whatever. And now it's turned into all this fucking bullshit, and we want to be left out of it. You know? What's the matter, puppy dog? What's the matter? That's totally how King Cobra JFS would introduce his girlfriend. This is my girlfriend. Who's definitely not. yeah yeah. This is my girlfriend. She's uh. Of course, of age and non-related. <laughs> Clearly human. <laughs> and consenting. And goth. God damn. Uh, yeah, so, uh, now we're all caught up on that after so, so many of us were just, we're just confused about where, uh, Hannah and Rafe come into play in this, in these, uh, things we've been watching since we've been doing daily retro reacts of the Becky era starting from the beginning here on the Willow Davis YouTube channel. We're on day eight, uploaded that already today. 76% amber. <laughs> a lot yeah, alive, clearly alive. Hello, Dejalux. <clears throat> uh yeah, so as far as I know, that kind of covers the bulk of the stuff, cause And then I think when they resolved shit, it was very behind the scenes. But we can I don't know when. Oh, hold on. Actually, I think there is an Amberlynn video around the time called like "Friends Again" or something. Uh, let's see if I can get a date on that. Eric's channel's gone. Yep, he took down all the videos. Unfortunately. We're scrolling down to five years ago. To see when they became friends again. Getting there, getting there. Okay, here we go. Uh -huh. Friends again. Oh yeah, we watched this. Yeah, yeah, we watched this. This was in like August. We watched this a couple days ago on on the reaction. August twenty fifth, twenty seventeen, and the shit went down on July sixth, apparently. So there you go. Uh, took took a little little over a month for them to patch up all that ridiculous things that they both said about each other some i i would i would never i wouldn't i don't think i would ever bother to patch things up with someone there's a lot of people in the world that you could make new friends with you know at that point if you've already both just been talking mad shit about each other and your and your livelihood and lifestyle just you're just gonna have to find some new people both of you you can't be just limited to these friends you know <laughs> Watch Eric Cook Perry. Thanks, thanks. Um, 
So that I think I think that's uh, that's all we got there. The two you nows, the Rafe you now, and the Amberlin you now response, and then the video where Becky gets to say a piece as well. And that that's all the shit. To break it down into the simplest things, we got. Eric came to Amberlynn and said that Rafe was talking to him. Rafe was talking to Eric and talking shit about Amberlynn. Eric took this took this and told Amberlynn about it. He, Eric told Amberlynn, Rafe was just talking to me the other day and saying really nasty stuff about you. <laughs> and then... Rafe, then so they, so then Amberlynn was upset with Rafe. Rafe decided to take this to the internet and and talk all this mad shit about Amberlynn. Amberlynn responds the same day in the live stream with all the her replies to that and how Rafe's lying about a bunch of stuff. And then there's this video uploaded of Amberlynn and Becky kind of discussing the whole thing. And bringing up that Rafe was apparently in, like, Amberlynn hate groups trying to raise money for Rarity to get neutered. Because Rarity and Wasabi, Amberlynn's two cats, were living with Hannah and Rafe at that time because Amberlynn wanted to move in with Becky and Eric and Ricky. Who weren't allowed to have any more animals. They barely were allowed to bring Twinkie in. So, uh, and then somewhere behind the scenes, they made up, which is ridiculous, which is like with how far they all got talking shit about the cleanliness of each other's houses and whatnot. The, yeah, they should have just made enough pasta and this wouldn't have been an issue. <laughs> yeah, you can follow on Twitch, uh, I stream there a couple times a week. Not always this type of stuff, but you know, you know. Thanks for hanging, everybody. Uh, uh, what an interesting way for you to spend your um, spend spend your uh, Friday nights, right? What's what's wrong with you, huh? What's the deal with that? Ooh. You could see yourselves out. Nice. There's a calm surrender to the rush of day when the heat of a Thanks for seeing yourselves out. Had a great time tonight. I hope you did as well. If you like the live stream for format, I do it on uh, Twitch a couple times a week. Twitch.tv slash Willa Davis. It's free to follow. Uh, you don't have to pay anything. It's a great time. I got eight videos in a row from the past eight days of Amberlynn Retro Reacts of the Becky era. And, uh, yeah. <clears throat> Take it easy. Good night. Good night. Have a great weekend. Bye bye. I'll see if I can have this uploaded as, like, just a live stream for you to go back and watch or whatever on here. We'll see if it all works out okay, if there's some kind of copyright issue. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, go watch all my videos. Willow Davis Games is my other channel. I'm for some reason getting thousands of views talking about Metroid Prime remastered physical copies on there. Go check it out. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. <laughs>